Hey, what's going on, everyone? How y'all doing? Welcome to the party. Welcome to Boulder Duck Radio. Uh, it's, uh, what, God, what day is this? Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday night. Uh, fucking, uh, chilling right now. It's nine o'clock. Just, uh, got my kids laid down to bed. You know, checked out the, uh, the, the Hollywood After Dark, uh, premiere, which, uh, from what I could tell, people seem to enjoy. Now we're here. You might be asking yourself, what does this mean? What is this is the reboot? BTR F001. It's just kind of a reboot. I'm just kind of doing it as like a refresh uh, hangout stream. It's just, I don't have any topics. I don't know if I really want to like engage in many topics. We'll, we'll, we'll see where the night takes us. I think that's always kind of the best approach to it. Because those are always my favorite nights where just shit gets weird. And I like it when shit gets weird. I don't want to sit there and be like, well, did y'all hear about... The Hunter Biden situation. I mean, there are things going on with that. So if the chat brings it up, by all means, the chat can bring it up. Uh, we got Reed here saying, hello. Hey, what's up, Reed? How you doing, buddy? Brandon asking uh, or saying, hey, I just saw the short hod. Glad you were there, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I didn't get to the Batman Beyond concept art. I feel bad about that. I kind of forgot, to be honest with you. I was like, fuck. It took me forever to even sit down and record that goddamn thing. And then, of course, like, because my kids just kept interrupting, just kept interrupting. Uh, well, I was prepping it. And then uh, uh, the other thing that kind of got me with it was um, StreamYard just kept bugging, dude. It just kept bugging. Like, I, I know, like, I know that I've got, what's it called? Like, the I don't have, like, the, the 1080p thing right now. I don't have the fucking $400 to invest for a whole ass year. Uh, and I can't for a little bit because um, uh, one of the reasons why, actually, I'll tell you guys one of the reasons why I, I, I'm going to do the, do the HWAD stuff. Uh, like that is because people like Hollywood after dark. They like the show. Um, I still want to talk about movies. I still want to talk about all the kind of stuff, but it's also like my girlfriend just lost her job today. So I've got to like start picking up extra hours at work and I can record a 30 minute thing pretty easy and I can put it out pretty easy. That's not going to be much of an issue. Right. But like sitting down and like plotting out a live show or sitting down and doing a live show, where it's like I say a lot of inappropriate things. I make a lot of bad jokes. I talk about coming a lot. I don't make any fucking money on the back end of this shit because of the shit that I say. Advertisers don't want to run on it. And so I got to like figure out, okay, like Hollywood After Dark, 30 minutes, people can listen to run some ads. That could be a thing. Um, and then And then have a little bit more fun over here because I got to start diversifying a bit. That's going to actually have a return on investment because I can't just rely on super chats. So that's kind of where it's at right now. It's a little bit of a little bit of, um, you know, kind of like, Oh shit <laughs> type situation. Um, it is what it is. It's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We get into the busy season next month, but I still have like a month until we get there. So it will be a thing. Uh, what up King TL? Thank you. Uh, peace and respect. Um, just keep grinding, do what you can do, be easy and do what makes you happy. Yeah, man. Thanks. I like to just fucking talk shit, like talk about shit. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's all good for me. Uh, but thank you. Uh, spherical man asking, what are your opinions on the rock tar energy drink? Uh, I think, uh, I think, I think what you're referring to is the fact that Dolly can't spell for shit, <laughs> but, either, <laughs> but either way though, it's a cool image, right? It's a cool image. It's a cool it's a cool fucking thumbnail. Um, I, I dig it. I like it. I'm down with it. So there's that. Andrew Dunbar says, I'm at a Waffle House late night waffles for the win. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Fucking waffles are the shit, man. Put some fucking yogurt on that too. I'm not even making that up. You want to have a good fucking waffle experience? Throw some like strawberry yogurt on that shit. Uh, Mo here says, what's this I hear about you losing your job? I didn't lose my job. My girlfriend lost her job. I'm going to work more hours. But I'll tell you what I did do. I spent about uh, spent about three hours today or so, probably longer than that, playing uh, RoboCop Rogue City, and that game's fun. It's fun. It's uh, it's definitely got replayability. I was playing a mission on there, and it's all like you need engineer level six because there's RPG elements in like RoboCop Rogue City, um, and uh, and you know you need engineer level six in order to be able to to break open the safe. And I'm like, I could. Why do I need to be an engineer level six to break open a safe? Like, oh, right. Yeah, because I'm RoboCop. I'm RoboCop. Um, 
Uh, Spiro Command says Brandon did a great job with the uh, with the thumbnail. Uh, yeah, Brandon, thank you, thank you very much for the uh, for the prompting. I appreciate the work. I'll be sending you the DLC in a few weeks. Oh, oh wow, there's DLC. I didn't know there's DLC, man. Thank you. The game is fun. It, it definitely like it has a bit of a slow start, but uh, but when like I when I like walked up to a bad guy and I grabbed him and I hucked him into another bad guy and they both just like exploded and missed. It was great. Or I'm fighting these bikers and I grabbed one and I threw it into another biker who was on his motorcycle and it just exploded. I was like, this is awesome. It pretty much, it, it pretty much is that, that thing. No, I didn't lose my job. I didn't lose my job. My girlfriend lost her job. I have to work more. That's what I'm talking. I didn't lose my job. No, 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 no. I didn't lose my job. Believe me, if I lost my job, I'd be out here like Oliver fucking twist. Please, sir. My, I have some more. I'd be like fucking karaoke and I'd get to, I, I would get Todd in here and I'd be like, I will karaoke whatever the fuck you want. You know, like I will fucking, I'll do WAP uncensored. You know, I, like fucking all that shit. Um, anyway, so uh, I consider you a friend. So why buy you an incomplete game? Well, there's that. But yeah, thank you very much. Yes, Brendan, you're trolling. I know we're trolling. Stop, stop taking the bait, man. Stop taking the bait. Block a deal says Elden Ring DLC gameplay trailer is tomorrow. I can't believe it's like Elden Ring's DLC is like we're getting a trailer. Like, didn't that game come out like two fucking years ago? Right? Like, like, didn't that game come out like two fucking years? Is it one year ago or two? Like, that's how long I don't remember. Was it 2023 or 2022? Let me see here. Elden Ring. I'm Googling it. Google Luga. Yeah, yeah. It's been fucking it's been fucking two years since Elden Ring. And we're just now getting the DLC for it. That's crazy. Yeah, Music Man, thank you. She yeah, she's not happy about it, but you know, it is how it is. So she's she she she's resilient. She'll land on her feet. I have no problem. I have no doubt in my mind about that. But it's just requiring me to kind of like, you know, approach things a little differently, think about things a little differently, do things a little differently, you know. And that is entirely okay. That's entirely fine. I think it's um, obviously something that, you know, you got to do when you've got a family, you got to figure that shit out. So it's all that. Um, you're right, Matt. I won't take the, Brandon, you take the bait. All right. Like you take the bait. You, if you, this, I did not do that, Matt. He's trolling. That's you taking the bait. Okay. Just, just, just don't respond to spherical man. <laughs> He's just going to troll you until, uh, you know, uh, forever because you keep taking the damn bait. So just don't, I just would highly recommend to not do it anyway. So, uh, there, yeah, there is like some stuff going on today. Obviously, I mean, the movie wise, I talked about it on Huad, but you know, um, there was the, uh, for speaking of just on the true crime front, uh, there was the, uh, discovery of audrey cunningham's body in uh, texas the 11 year old girl who went missing the other day um and uh, they suspect foul play they suspect homicide i mean they're not really saying it but they basically said it and they have a man um don stephen mcdougall mcdougall is currently locked up uh, for unrelated assault charges i think and they are uh trying to put together um, enough evidence to be able to get a, an arrest for homicide. So that part sucks. I was really, um, um, I was really sad to hear about that. I was really sad to hear about that. You know, um, uh, thanks a lot, Blue Jay. Blue Jay, really appreciate it, man. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. Things will be fine. It's just like, you know, I got to fucking like, um, I got to hustle cause I got to work extra days at work. And so whatever I make on YouTube is kind of extra right now. But like what I want to do is I, I need to get a new car. So I need to start making a little bit more so I can actually like put money down on a car. Um, Cause my car is like fucking, it's like, it's dying. It's so dying. I got like one cylinder down, you know, it's just gonna, I'm driving it till it dies, but it's all I, all I can really do. Uh, Spherical man says, did you happen to hear how Cagney Lynn Carter uh, unalived herself? I don't, I just heard that she committed it. I don't know how that happened. I don't know, um, necessarily like the why, I mean, I don't know if she was out of the industry and she was just doing only fans. Cause I had heard some people mention only fans 
Um, it does suck about Cagney Lynn Carter and, um, and everything. I'm really hopeful. Uh, she took a oh, final. Oh, did she kill? Is, is that like, wait, did she shoot herself? The, oh, bro. Come on, man. Poor form. Poor form. <laughs> that is, that's fucking nuts, dude. Um, I really hope she fucking like, you know, I mean, did they, did they say how she committed it yet? Let me, let me look this up. Cagney. Uh, ooh, not, not Cad. Cag. Uh, all right. Cagney. Lynn. Oh my God. It's like, you, you know, you, you go to type it in, right? Uh, okay. Cagney, Lynn Carter, death clause. Um, all right. A daily star. Oh, in, in, intraoral shock. Oh my God. Did she put a fucking, did she fucking blow her head off with a shotgun? No fucking way. Okay. It says here, Cagney Lynn Carter, the adult film actress passed away at the age of 36. Carter's death was determined to be a suicide resulting from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Further information regarding her death has not been disclosed at his time at this time, but the Parma Police Department is conducting an investigation. Cagney Lynn Carter, the adult film actress, passed away at 36. Her uh, death was determined to be a suicide. Uh, Kuyahoga County officials confirmed last week that the former adult film actress passed away on Thursday. Her cause of death officially recorded as an intraoral shotgun wound, meaning that she placed a shotgun in her mouth and pulled the trigger. Wow, that is like, dude, that's fucking sad, man. That's fucking sad. Like, I wonder what caused her to like, because I mean, we just lost Jesse Jane. You know what I mean? Like, we just lost Jesse Jane, um, like recently, you know, and she died uh, of an OD. And, uh, okay, so Cagney apparently had uh, struggled with mental health issues as the years passed by. She entered the adult film industry in the mid 2000s after moving to Los Angeles. She even bagged a number of ABN awards for her work and also modeled, making her a household name. Uh, uh, Carter eventually left the glitz and glamour for, of California for Ohio, where she became a regular at a pole dancing studio before eventually opening her own. In a touching tribute to Carter, the studio owners wrote, she immediately warmed the studio and all the students with an effortless gate grace. And it, soon felt as if she'd always been a part of the studio from the beginning. Her pals added she fought her own battles with the same tenacity and drive she showed in every other area of her life with as much strength as she could. Um, wow. That's, uh, well, this, come on, there's a line here in the article. Fans were also quick to leave tributes to the star, talk, uh, taking to X. One wrote, that's sad, while another added, rip you know riveting content there R riveting content is the reboot because you forgot the number of the episodes yeah that's basically about it to be fair and i'm not really gonna have much of the thing so time to delete the videos what, what do you mean delete the videos um you know anyway I, like that's fucking crazy that she she kurt cobained herself man That's wild. That's, that's sad. That's very sad that she did that, you know, but again, mental, I mean, look, you look at porn. Okay. You look at the adult industry and it takes a lot out of you to be in it. It just does. It just takes a lot out of you. It's like, you know, uh, especially if you, if you get depressed and, and you get pressured into doing shit you don't want to do, but you need the money. So you take the drugs to cope. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is though, it's like, oftentimes we, as the viewer don't know. And that is, that's like, that is one of the weirder things about it, right? So when you think about porn just in general, like you have to kind of ask yourself, it's like, have you ever whacked it to a video where like it, there wasn't consent, like oh, officially that the girl was too jacked up to even like know what she was doing or to give proper consent. I mean, that doesn't always mean the, you know, like you're rolling, you know, rolling around like a pig and slop and whatever, but it just, it's a question. Now that's kind of like that. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's kind of sad. You know, I mean, that's, that's kind of fucked up. Cause then you start thinking about it and you're just like, wait a minute, like, hold on. Does that make me a bad person? 
did I, did I whack it to the wrong stuff? And you don't know, you don't know, right? I mean, you guys can also tell right now that I'm trying to do everything I can to actively ruin porn for everybody. Correct. Right. Uh, I say, go for it. Enjoy it. But you know, we care. like, but how do you find to ethically produce pornography? You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's the whole thing It's like effort, like ethically produce pornography. Is it a thing? Can porn ever be ethically produced? You know, I mean, clearly it's more ethically produced than other forms of pornography. Like, you know, stuff. Uh, anyway, hold on here. Uh, John says, so do you delete Cagney vids knowing the final act? I mean, no, you don't delete Cagney vids following the final act. All things considered. I mean, like, I'm curious if, if there's going to be any kind of like metric put out by Pornhub that is going to show that like Cagney Lynn Carter videos are now fucking like getting more and more views as a result. You know what I mean? Like, like a 21 nut salute sort of thing. It's like all these dudes are just like, Oh, one last time. But I mean, these videos are videos that last forever. The internet is forever. These will always be uploaded to a site. These will always be uh, put out there in a certain way. Like you'll always be able to find them. So that ends up being like the, you know, do you delete the content? Like, like, no, and I'll, t I'll tell you one person who I, I'll tell you one person I believe, uh, should have their content. A couple people, like I would say Ron Jeremy for the, for the rape, right? You could, you could ethically make the argument or you can make the argument that it's ethical to get rid of Ron Jeremy, his content because of that. Right. But then again, like what were those scenes non-consensual? If they weren't, then like there, again, there's like another argument to be made about, well, is this the case? But then you also have Mercedes Carrera, who's currently locked up and has been locked up for a number of years. As far as I understand it, she might be out, but I haven't heard anything in relation to, uh, you know, like child endangerment, drugs, guns, that kind of shit. Do we know where, what's going on with that now? Uh, do we know what's going on with, with Mercedes Carrera? I'm going to, I'm going to have to Google this Mercedes Carrera. All right. Let me see. Mercedes Carrera. Oh, she, oh, she actually has a fucking, uh, she has a wiki. Okay. So her real name is Melinda Smith. All right, so in February 2019, so four, five years ago, she was arrested along with her husband, Jason Whitney, uh, a.k.a. Damon Sins, which is such a stupid porn name, at their home in Rancho Cucamonga on suspicion of child sex abuse. The pair were accused of sexually abusing a girl under the age of 10 multiple times over a four-month period. They were charged with possessing a controlled substance, meth uh, methamphetamine, um, and, uh, they were both, and they were armed with a handgun. They were denied bail. And as of January, 2023, they both remain in jail awaiting trial. The, I don't understand that if I'm being fair. Okay. Let me explain why I don't quite, I don't fully understand that shit because when, when you've got you know, we, we have, don't we have the right to a quick and speedy trial, right? Don't we have the right to a quick and speedy trial? I mean, if that's the case, if she, look, she's been, I mean, there are people who have committed murder, who have gone to fucking jail, been convicted of a crime and, and are now serving that time, more time in jail in four, in five years, then sitting there waiting to, to waiting for trial. That's fucking weird. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, there's, there's probably more, no, there's more, I think there's more than 40. I've hidden episodes by the way. Um, let's see. Music man here says I'm kind of getting turned off to porn, especially after that cuckold talk we had on her. <laughs> I mean, sorry, man, I'm not trying to ruin porn for you. I was kind of joking anyway. Um, so yeah, you've got, uh, you, you've got a, a bunch of, uh, uh, you know, shit with, I don't know. I feel like I feel I feel like that's a long time to wait. You know, if, if you have, if we have the right to a quick and speedy trial, um, you know, 
Like, but then again, but then again, like they'll probably get convicted and then get time served because that does apply to it. But at the same time, it's like her career is done. You know, like her career is done. I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be fair. I never found her to be that attractive. I just never did. I know a lot of gamer gators were like, oh my God, we have a porn star in our side. We have a porn star. Oh, maybe I get a bone the porn star. Maybe if I got the money, I can bone the porn star. Like I've heard people were talking about that and she would play around with it. Well, if you've got the money in a video camera, <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, that's, that's the whole point, right? If you film it, it's legal. If you don't film it, it's considered prostitution. You bring it, pop up a camera on a tripod, hit that record button. It's legal. It doesn't matter if you delete it right afterward or not. But I just never found her to be that attractive. You know what I mean? Like I always kind of felt like there was an angle there. I never, I never, it was always kind of a little sussy, a little sussy. You know what I'm saying? But then like getting high on methamphetamines and abusing a 10 year old over the span of four months. Yeah, that's no go, man. Every once in a while, every once in a while, I'll see a Mercedes Carrera video kind of pop up, you know? Every once in a while. And I'm like, not interested, not interested, not interested. Because, you know, no, <laughs> uh, -uh. Mm -mm. not going to happen. Not going to happen. Why would you want to tap a porn star? Why wouldn't you want to tap a porn star? I don't get that. Right? Like, why wouldn't you want? Like, why wouldn't you want that? I mean, if, if you find them attractive and you have, you know, and you have the means for the commodity, right? That's why I don't get like, I mean, like people, like, why would you go have sex with a prostitute? It's just like, it's kind of like, why not? If you have, if you have the desire, the means and the, the ability, then, then there's nothing wrong. If it's an ethical, consensual environment, then it's fine. You know what I mean? It'd be like, you know, this is how it is. Like I've met porn stars, you know, I, I, I've, I've been friends with strippers. I dated a stripper. It's like, they're people. They have personalities. You might find it attractive. You might want to, you might, you might want to get down. You know what I mean? You might want to, you might want to bump uglies with one, John or Jess. Sorry. John lives in Vegas. He knows what I'm talking about. He's probably got a whole bunch of them fucking cards or $50 HJs. Anyway. Uh, why does everything get a woke reboot? Rip? I don't know. I just needed a title change. I just needed a title change. Why does it, this, this isn't woke? I mean, like, oh, I didn't even do the fucking, the intro tonight. I got to redo that intro, but, uh, I needed a better text for it and everything. Um, so apparently, uh, one of the things I was reading today is that Twitter is going to start, um, putting out, uh, oh, I guess you could say, what's it called? Um, Oh man, what's it called? It's called, uh, yeah, uh, warnings or descriptors. If you use AI imaging on, uh, Twitter, right. They're, you're gonna, you're gonna get that. And, uh, you know, it's funny is, um, that's, a, I, I, as much as I like AI, that to me is a, is a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's a good thing. To, I, it's not going to stop me from making fucking AI images and whatever and, and posting them. Cause I think it's fucking funny. Anyway, a lot going on with that. A lot going on with Sora, a lot going on with AI. Uh, rational for Fiverr. Thank you, buddy. Uh, look at the photo I DM'd you regarding consent in college campuses. Um, yeah, here's the one he sent me today. Uh, Jake was drunk. Josie was drunk. Jake and Josie hooked up. Josie could not consent. The next day, Jake was charged with rape. Uh, saying here, a woman who is intoxicated cannot give her legal consent for sex. So proceeding under these circumstances is a crime. It only takes a single day to ruin your life. See, that's the thing that I don't get, right? Is like, I've seen this before. This is, I, I think this is a real image. There was a bunch of these that were floating around at the time. Right. I, and like the California was pushing this, this thing about uh, affirmative consent for a while. Now, listen, I, I don't want anyone to think that uh, consent isn't a good thing. Consent is always something you should get. But affirmative consent is kind of like the only way someone could describe it. And like this one video that I saw way back in the day, like this one teacher in California was trying to get these like sophomores in high school to like talk about it. And she was like, well, so what is confirm? What is, what does affirmative consent mean to you? And like this one guy's like, I don't know, like repeatedly getting consent. 
And she's like, well, so how, how often would you want to get, you know, would you want to get the reaffirmation of consent? I'm paraphrasing. And he's like, I don't, I don't know, like every 10 minutes. And she's like, that seems kind of fair. You know, you would figure that like, uh, that it's, uh, you know, if you're, if you're with a partner, if you're with a, if you're with, you know, if you're with a woman, right. Then you're in your fucking her, you know, you're, you're, you're scraping that cervix. You're just, you're just getting in there, rotor rooting that shit. And then she's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, fuck me, fuck me, oh yeah, fuck me. That's pretty much going to be your consent right there, right? Uh, just say, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, like, you is it a good idea to ask your partner, do you like that? It's a good idea to do that, you know, and to try to read body language and whatnot, you know, and that's hard to do when you're hard. I'm just saying, like, when, when, you, when, when your dick gets hard, it is hard to think because it is basically at that point, your body is going like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoop, whoop, you know, and it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's very difficult. It's like, it's like having like a mind control thing going on. Cause you're just like, I just want to nut. That's what I want. I want to nut. This is what I'm, my body is telling me this, this is what's going on. And then your brain is like, fight it, man, fight it. Scotty, give her more power. I can't captain. I'm pushing her as far as she can go. It's like you're in a constant fucking, you know, uh, tug of war with your balls. And it's uh, it's a war, and uh, wars have been fought over that tug of war. Many men have died, so one dude could nut. Think about that for a second, right? A lot of people throughout history have died legitimately in gruesome, horrible ways, been sent to their death because one guy higher up in the fucking system was like, "I want to blow my load in that one right over there," but sir, she's taken with somebody else, another king. Then we shall forsake that king, sack his castle, and I shall sack her behind. Send the men. And it's like you know, right? All right, yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah, right, all right. Let's go. King wants to go and take on this guy, but why does he want to? I don't know, maybe because he wants to fancy himself for less. So wait, you might die, I might die, we might leave our children fucking fatherless so that guy can go and shag. That's lame. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's all that kind of shit. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, ma'am, may, may I thrust forward now? May I thrust? It's ridiculous. Uh, Jess here says thoughts on the new Trump sneakers. You know, I don't know much about these Trump sneakers. I really don't. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at these here. Trump. I, I think like they're, I think it's another scam, isn't it? Like it's another scam. I know I saw something about him being at sneaker con and it just did not go well. Um, all right. So Forbes, <laughs> Forbes has got this article here talking about, uh, where to find Trump's new gold shoes? Not in most sneakerhead collections. So, uh, did I see Brian Wilson got them? Who's Brian Wilson? I don't know. Are you talking about G oh, Gianna the porn star? Are you talking about Gianna? What's her name? Uh, anyway, there's a lot of porn stars. I forget all their names. That being said, uh, Spherical Man says Trump pretty much ripped off a pair of Louis Vuitton sneakers that are 800 bucks. Kind of. Kind of. Oh, Beach Boys. Brian Wilson got dementia. That's unfortunate, man. That's unfortunate here. OK, apparently Forbes, I've, I've used to two out of four free articles. Get unlimited access for forty dollars a year. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Forbes. No one. No one gives a fuck. Uh, <laughs> anyway. All right. Let me go back to this article where we at here. I lost my place. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Former. Look at these fucking things. These goddamn things are fucking hideous. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, like, I mean, look, I, I think Yeezys look pretty bad, but Yeezys look better for this. Fallible Foul is asking, will they make you jump higher? Uh, no, but they'll probably help you avoid detection with the IRS because they're going to be blinded by the gaudiness of those shoes. Uh, Rational here says, your tweet telling Peel versus Babyface to starve got me dying. Yeah, I'll bring that up here. That got a lot of attention. Well, some attention, not as much as others, but that was all right. Anyway, uh, the Trump, the Trump sneaks. Look at these things, man. Fucking gaudy. 
Gotti, gotti. All right. Former President Donald Trump unveiled a shiny new shoe at SneakerCon in Philadelphia. Many urban footwear enthusiasts will likely agree that the high top sneaker goes hard. The shoe looks like what many rappers, hip hop stars, and fashion models are wearing right now. It's therefore no surprise that Trump's latest product drop sold out within two hours. People can't even get them on the official website. Let's take a look here, right? We got the Trump sneakers <laughs> sold the fuck out, sold out, right? Oh my God, they're spray painted. They're fucking spray painted. Look at that. The never surrender high tops, man, who the, the next thing Trump is going to fucking do the next he's going to get into crypto. Like he's, I mean, he's already done NFTs. All right, he's gonna he's gonna try Trump coin or some shit like that, and just fucking like rug pull a shit ton of people. Here we go. Okay, uh, um, uh, I can't do a Trump. So meet the never surrender high tops. Only one thousand pairs will ever be released. Each pair is numbered, a true collector's item. The first official sneaker by President Trump released at SneakerCon Philadelphia, February seventeenth, twenty twenty four. Bold, gold, and tough, just like President Trump. I mean, like, look, man, when, when, when your whole entire existence makes it out to be like, you're a fucking golden calf, maybe, I don't know, maybe don't do that shit. Uh, therefore the go getters who don't know the word quit with the standout gold finish and the T badge. These kicks are for true patriots wrapped in the American flag on the collar. They shout out to the brave and the free. The never surrender sneakers are your rally cry and shoe form lace up and step out ready to conquer. With only 1,000 pairs ever to be released, get your limited edition pair now. Never surrender. Hot tops are estimated to ship in July 2024. Look at this. So they announced it February 17th, right? They had they had demos, all right? They had promos, okay? Right, That or I should say, uh, yeah, demo or product, whatever. But then they're like, look, they won't ship until, until July 2024, which means basically that they are... Um, uh, that they're, they're drop shipping them, right? You can put, you can, you may, all, <laughs> you may also like, uh, look at these here. Look, look, what are these here? 45s. These images shown are for illustration purposes only. It may not be exact representation of the product. Like, look at these. What the fuck? Who would wear those things? Like, that's crazy to me. But there's a, there's, I want to see here about the, uh, about the, um, terms and conditions. All right. So, uh, cause there's something here about when they're going to fucking send it. All right. Uh, let's see. Orders, price and resale. Uh, all right. I'm trying to find out. So here we go. We will arrange for shipment of the products to you using a shipper of our choice. You will pay all shipping and ch handling charges unless otherwise specified in the order confirmation. Title and risk of loss passed to uh, you upon our transfer of the products to the carrier slash delivery. So title and risk of loss, meaning that um, meaning that uh, once it goes to the delivery ser service that you pay for, that they choose, right? Our, our choice. Uh, they absolve themselves from any and all responsibility. Uh, there we go. Shipping and delivery dates are estimates only and cannot be guaranteed. We are not liable for any delays. <laughs> your order will ship as it becomes available. We'll make a reasonable effort to ship your order as quickly as possible. There may be times when a product you have ordered is out of stock, which will delay fulfilling your order. You will be informed of any product that you have ordered that are out of stock or unavailable for immediate shipment. Remember, they've only got a thousand, a thousand pairs. I don't take a whole bunch of kids a, a fucking seven months, six months, five months, whatever, six months in order to be able to put together a thousand shoots. Probably do it in a day. Probably could do it in a whole fucking day. Final sale, unless otherwise indicated on the website and or in these terms or as otherwise determined by us in our sole discretion on a case by case basis, all sales are final and non refundable. So think about that. Just, 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 just think about that for a second. If you spend money on Trump sneakers, you drop $400 on a pair of these kicks and that's it. 
like you may or may not even get it. They could even fucking lie to you about sending you something, send you a faulty fucking code or some shit like that, a shipping number. And then, well, we transferred it off over to fucking, you know, whatever, uh, podunk, Tom, Dick, dumb shit, fucking delivery service. And then from there, they end up, you know, getting fucking like they just take your money. That's so crazy. Uh, let's see. John here says, yeah, they will sh just ship a label and tracking number. And when the overseas item has incorrect customs, it gets shipped back to the shipper and you get screwed. Exactly. It's the whole thing's a fucking scam. Uh, let's see. Spherical Man says, Matt, the secondary market is making more of a killing on these sneakers than Trump is. I mean, they definitely are. They definitely are. I wonder what uh, I wonder what eBay eBay has for these fuckers, man. Uh, do you want to get Trump sneaks? Do you want to get them? The Never Surrender High Top. I will admit, though, the Never Surrender High Tops is kind of a good name. You know, careful. Some people might get mad at me for saying that. How can you fucking say that that's a cool name? It's a cool name. Like, fuck you. It's a fucking, it's a fine fucking name. The Never Surrender High Tops. It sounds kind of cool. All right. Let me search here. Okay. Let's bring it up. All right. So what we've got here is uh, $6,000. $6,000. Trump gold shoe size 10 Never Surrender High Tops. $6,000 or best offer. Uh, <laughs> yo, dude, this fucking six k. Next homie is one sixty seven. I mean, but that's a starting bid. That's a starting bid, right? One fifty. These are starting all starting bids, and they're all just uh, pictures taken from the fucking website. This should be illegal to sell. To be fair, right? Like this should be illegal to sell unless you've got them. You're selling pre orders, man. Spherical man here says. Uh, it's <laughs> never surrender by a guy who surrendered to get arraigned and his mugshot pretty much pretty damn much. But here's the thing with this too. Um, it's entirely possible, right? It's, in, it's entirely fucking possible that you, what you, what you've got here is, uh, is the Trump organization pushing these sneaks on fucking you know, pushing these sneaks out there, all right? Um, like, you know, they could be because they, they get more fucking money that way. Either way, these are gaudy. These are, yeah, yeah, bleh, 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 gross. Uh, Rational here asks, what did you think of the Borderlands film poster? I talked about it over on Hollywood After Dark, man. Go check it out. Hollywood After, Hollywood After Dark. New episode, 30 Minutes. It's uh, right there in the, uh, there's a timestamp even, man. I did a timestamp. Holy shit. Uh, Otis here, thank you. Says uh, Trump pushing Air Force nuns. Ooh, ooh, that's a good one, man. Air Force nuns. That's a solid pun. That is a, that's a solid ass pun. I gotta, I gotta admit. I gotta, I gotta admit. Um, It's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking even even right now, Elon Musk on Twitter is trying to make the claim that the American government is going to legalize all immigrants so they vote Democratic by 2028. Like this, like I, I don't get this. Like this motherfucker was born in South Africa. Okay, came here. I'm pretty sure he's an American citizen at this point. Lord knows he's fucking fathered enough of us, and uh, and so he knows the process of becoming a citizen, right? The pathway to citizenship is not really something that's been streamlined, you know, and having a visa and being here or having temporary residence and being here or whatever doesn't mean you're, you can't fucking vote. Ah, so stupid. Airport nunt as Paul's ego would say. Yeah. Well, Paul's, you know, Paul, <laughs> Paul's got, <laughs> You know, I don't know, man. Paul's got some fucking, got some, got some issues, man. Got some issues on that shit. Um, you know, I always think it's kind of fucking funny to be fair with Paul because like he tries, he tries so hard, you know, and you want to, and you just want, you want to support him. You know, you just, you just want to support him, but sometimes it's so fucking difficult. Uh, anyway, 
Um, all right. So for the time for the next, like, let's say, uh, 10 minutes, um, uh, the phone line is open three, two, three, four, zero, zero, four, nine, five, six. You guys can call in, take about two calls. If anyone wants to and then get back into the chat, um, rational says here, you said dark fate is Canyon, but studio canal who owns a Terminator, right? Said Terminator resistance is Canyon, which contradicts dark fate. Yeah. But James Cannon, uh, James Cannon, <laughs> James Cannon, uh, James Cameron is the one I'm going to refer to on that one. All right. And his mind, uh, is not in studio canal. Um, doesn't, I don't know if they own the rights anymore. I think the rights reverted back. Let me find out. I think the rights reverted back to like Cameron and, um, Oh God, what the fuck's the name of the producer who worked on the walking dead? Who owns the rights to the Terminator franchise? Uh, Sky. Oh, apparently Skydance has the rights. Um, so maybe it wasn't Studio Canal, but it was Skydance. However, there's a legal battle. Uh, over the rights, as Galen heard, the original writer has moved to terminate a copyright grant made 35 years ago. If successful, she would have a 50-50 ownership split with James Cameron. As of now, Skydance has a deal in place with Cameron and controls the rights to the Terminator franchise for the foreseeable future. So it looks like studio Skydance has them. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is there. Hold on. It is Terminator resistance cannon to the franchise. I now I'm looking it up. Uh, let's see here. A core. Okay. The game Terminator resistance is not considered canon to the Terminator franchise. The official canon of the franchise includes only the four films and maybe not even the third and fourth ones as they don't really factor into the later films. While the game plays tribute to the lore with loving dedication and feels like a worthy entry, it is not officially considered part of the franchise's canon. It is marketed as an officially licensed product based on the Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So those are the movies that it should be considered canon to. So, uh, okay, fine. Let me ask this one here. Is Terminator Dark Fate canon? All right. The, canos the canonosity of Terminator Dark Fate is a subject of debate. While the film was intended to be a direct sequel to Terminator 2 Judgment Day and to ignore the events of Terminator 3, Salvation, and Genesis, its status as canon is not universally accepted. Some fans and sources consider it to be part of the official canon, as it was produced by James Cam with James Cameron's involvement and was intended to continue the story from the first two films. However, others argue that his commercial performance and reception have led to it being disregarded as canon. Um, you know what? Again, I'm going to say flat out. Yeah, okay, Cameron, but okay, Cameron like also promoted like Terminator 3 and shit. I remember seeing him at fucking Comic-Con in 2002 promoting Terminator three for the next year. Right. How can you, you got no, if James, if James Cameron says it's Canon, it's Canon. All right. But I do agree with shifty gizm here that they need to reboot, uh, for 10 years, you know, that they, that they do need to reboot, that they do need, uh, to do all that. So, cause if they, if they, um, they, you know, I mean, they, tr well, they tried that with Genesis, all things considered, they tried, and I don't hate Genesis. I think Genesis was a misfire, but I don't fucking hate Genesis under any circumstances. I think it's kind of interesting. Uh, I think the concept is interesting, but at the end of the day, they kind of, they just fucking fucked it up and shit. So there's that. Um, anyway. Yeah. The, but when he does, okay. Cameron, like Cameron now is working with fucking Skydance uh, over Terminator. Okay, so that's a little bit different though. Beforehand, he wasn't directly involved. He does get a he does get a paycheck, and he's gonna sit there and promote the content, right? And like at that moment, maybe it was canon. At that moment, maybe it was, but then they decided to go another way. I mean, it fucking it confuses people, sure, but I I view Dark Fate as being canon because it directly follows the events of T two, which are the two films he made. So it's not like Terminator 3, which is one that I, I do love. I like Salvation well enough, you know, but I, I, I'm i not a, the biggest fan. Genesis was hard. I mean, although I did, I did like 
Jai Courtney in it. And, and I liked Amelia Clark in it as well. Uh, a little bit different, but I need to watch it again. It's also been like nine years. So there's that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, all right. I'm turning off the phone line. All right. I had waited a few minutes. No one called in. That's all good. Um, Let's see. But anyway, I just feel like, well, there's a new Terminator game that's coming. Right. I saw I saw a thing about that. Um, and uh, let's see. Let me try to find that culture crave post about it because I had a lot of response because I actually came, went in there and defended. I went in there and defended fucking the Terminator Dark Fate, uh, even though uh, Linda Hamilton's been talking shit about it. <laughs> She's been talking some shit. Anyway, okay, so the open world Terminator Survivor game will be revealed February 29th, so nine days from now. It's set between Judgment Day and the formation of John Connor's Resistance, which is a number of years. So that's probably going to end up being its own fucking canon. So that is definitely something there. Um, Salvation's ending was ruined by the internet leak and they changed it. What was the, I don't know the original leak for that. I don't think they're rebooting it again, uh, Rational. I don't think they're going to reboot Terminator. It's it's just like, look, Skydance has spent a lot of money on it. I mean, I know they just put out a Terminator, another Terminator video game just recently came out that I think was based around Dark Fate. It's a top-down uh, shooter, it's, or maybe it's a strategy. And uh, let me speak, well, what is that game? Um, Hold on. Uh, okay, let me just ask here, okay. Well, what is the most recent Terminator game? It is, uh, the... okay. Uh, hold on. What did, okay. What was the last Terminator game released? I, it literally just came out. Terminator Resistance came out 2019. Uh, and then there was, no, there's a new one that just came out. What is the one that just came out? Uh, I swear to God, like, I swear to God, there was a new one that just came out. Like, I could have sworn I saw something. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just imagining it. Uh, oh, no, no, it was, sorry, sorry, sorry. It was uh, Terminator Dark Fate Defiance. That it's a real-time strategy, and that takes place, um, after Judgment Day during the war between humans and the AI known as Legion. Okay, and that was done by a game called Sl Slytherin Software in collaboration with Skydance. So, okay, you know what? Here, let's, um, uh, let's, hold on. Let me, let me, you know, we'll, we'll watch the, uh, we'll watch the trailer. Or we'll watch the, we'll watch the uh, IGN review. Oh my God! Fucking you work, you bastard. Because uh, I want to see how this how this is. Hold on. I. Jesus, I don't even know if I want to play this. The fucking guys, the guy's voice for IGN. Um, wait, McWeenie, I think freaked out about that leak too. God, McWeenie, we got into it the other day about <laughs> on Twitter. Uh, but I like Drew. I've known I've known Drew for a long time. Okay, where am I at? Uh, all right, there we go. Okay, yeah, we're, let's check this out. This is the final preview, I guess, from IGN. All right, we'll just turn that down. Yeah, let's do that because StreamYard's gonna StreamYard. So let's see what's going on here. In a world where we're being bombarded by constant hype about AI, getting to mow down some chrome-plated baddies is kind of cathartic. Enemy fire! Playing through the first several missions of Terminator Dark Fate Defiance, I found myself leading a ragtag band of human survivors trying to evade hostile machines in a slightly clunky but overall competent squad-based RTS. And there are some interesting ideas glimmering in the gaps beneath its synthetic flesh. A bit of wiki diving revealed that Defiance is set in something called the Dark Fate timeline, which was apparently established as an alternate reality through time travel shenanigans 
in the 2019 film of that name. Hey, wait up. Where, where are you going? I grew up on classic Terminator films, but I haven't really kept up with a lot of the newer stuff, so I don't know why Skynet is called Legion. Okay, so this person is writing a preview and they don't even like, like they're like doing some wiki diving. Uh, I just, I discovered this, but I'm not a fan of the franchise past the first two films, which is understandable. Uh, but I, and I don't even bother to look up why it's called Legion. Okay. I'm done with this one. This is, I can't, I can't, the voice is not, it's so fucking that voice just is, 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 it's grating as hell. I don't like it. I don't like voices like that. It's just like, what I don't like is people who can't read. I'm sure, I'm sure, uh, I'm assuming it's a she, um, I, I think she has, her voice is just not, some people can't like they can't they don't have the cadence for it you know what i mean like they write the script and then it sounds like they're reading and they don't put any oomph behind it they don't put any pizzazz behind it they don't get you hyped up right you know i mean i'd be like terminator dark fate dark resistance is a game where you as a human fight back against legion skynet's bitch you know some shit like that right you make it fucking interesting some kind of fucking interesting I just, yeah, anyway, I mean, like, look, man, it doesn't look like, you know, uh, it, it gets, it looks, it looks okay. Let's see. There's a trailer for it. All right, here, this is, uh, this is, uh, we'll do the actual trailer. I'm just not going to fucking do that. God, I hate IGN. All right. the trailer i mean like there ain't much going on it's just like we have tanks against ai what the fuck is this shit this is the trailer this, this can't be a fucking trailer can it Can you take out the buildings? Are they kind of what is going on here? I have no idea. That's kind of lame. All right, I don't even know. Uh, this is this is already like I, I you know look, I love the Terminator mythos. I do, I really do. But that I don't that that don't make no sense to me, man. That don't make no sense to me. It ain't they ain't doing nothing. Uh, let's see. Rational here says. Uh, Terminator Sarah Connor Sarah Connor Chronicles was a gr was great. The best timeline to focus on for Terminator is post T two, pre T three. No, it is. No, no, no. It, it absolutely is. It's like Lena Headey uh, did a good job. Fucking Summer Glau. Uh, fucking uh, what's the guy's name? Garrett. Um, ah, the guy who played the Terminator in the season was really good. You know, almost as bad as that Warhammer forty k. No, it's way worse than that. Uh, let's see. Astro here says the only thing I miss from IGN is their news YouTube channel short and to the point news. Yeah, I know, man. I know. I know. It's uh, it's all gone. It's all gone uh, down fucking hill. You know what I mean? But the, I mean, like the fact is like, they've OK, so they, they, here's the thing, you know, like, you know um, that. Uh, so there's there's a there's an OK, so there's another game, Terminator Dark Fate, the game came out in 2019 and it's for Android and iOS and it's an MMO strategy video game. That's what it, that's what it is here. Okay. Um, wow. Nine hours. What the fuck? Um, hold on here. This is this guy playing it. Is he playing defiance? Okay. So this guy says, um, this one guy, Das tactic just put out a video nine hours ago. Uh, gushing over Terminator, what we were just looking at. Uh, what we were just looking at. Uh, Dark Fate, the game. But I can't find... I can't find Dark Fate, the game, any kind of videos on it, right? I find Dark Defiance. 
uh, game, you know, Dark Defiance, Dark Defiance, um, or Dark Fate Defiance, but I'm not finding Dark Fate, the video game from fucking, that they talk about here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Terminator Dark Fate, the game, coming to mobile from Skydance and Firefly Games. Uh, it's fucking, did they, did they just like, did they fucking, did they eat it? Like, did they just, did they just get fucking rid of it? That's kind of wild. Don't you think? I always think it's kind of weird when like these, when these companies do these licensed titles, right? They do these licensed fucking titles and they kind of just go, doo -doo 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 -doo, and they just kind of like shut it all down. All right. I'm on, I'm on Firefly Studios, uh, website here. I'll bring it up because, uh, that game just looks pretty. The fucking the strategy game looks fucking stupid. Here we go. Okay. So this is um uh this is I think their latest one. Firefly Studios Stronghold, the definitive edition. <laughs> Games, Romans, Stronghold Warriors. Is that it? Is that is that all they've done? I wonder if if this Terminator game ever came out i okay i'm not gonna like kind of i do like games like this to be honest with you it's for apple windows and android <sighs> i'm a sucker for fucking games like that though i swear to god okay i better get off of that uh yeah so i don't think they ever fucking actually uh did anything with this with this terminator uh game no not the fight oh my god uh yeah the game hold on I'm really trying to like find this, you know, cause, um, I don't get it. I like, did it just never come out? Oh no, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I did. I did find something, although they make it not easy to find, you know what I mean? They make it not easy to find at all. Um, but it is, it is very much a mobile game and that, is what we knew it was going to be, but I'm kind of curious about it now. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Asher here says, I just installed it on my phone, but had to sideload it. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, I know Rational doing Dark Fate after Genesis confused people because it was different timelines. Genesis surprisingly made money. Like overseas, it made money. But it, uh, but it just was not good, and it was not what James Cameron wanted. All right, so this is just the Dark Fate game. I guess you just, you just power up. This is a mobile. It's fucking mobile, dude. My God, that's it. Uh, that's all it is. They don't know what to do with the Terminator franchise, do they? I'll say this. I'll say this. The uh, Rational bought me the Terminator uh, Resistance video game, and it, it it has some jank. Don't get me wrong, but at least it's trying something, you know. And the same people who are behind Terminator, um, Dark Fate, uh, or behind Terminator Resistance are the people that did RoboCop Rogue City, from my understanding. And RoboCop Rogue City got some jank. It does. It got some jank, but it's a fun jank, you know. Like you're still playing as they got Peter Weir, uh, Peter Weller back as Alex Murphy and shit. You know, and uh, Nancy Allen as Ann Lewis. And it's like, holy shit, you know, and there's like a lot you, you try to get into RoboCop's head. It's interesting. And like it's uh, I think it takes place after RoboCop 2. And, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, it's a solid it's a solid B movie narrative. I really like it. So um, <laughs> anyway, it's just it's just it's just crazy shit. Uh, Jess here says, to be fair, mobile games are just palette swaps of other IP. Oh, they really, really, really are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Astro Josh says, Google Play hides games not made for the current Android version. That makes sense. But can't you also get like blue stacks or whatever and do that way? Get blue stacks. Uh, let's see here. Shifty gets said, do you have the next gen version of the Terminator game because they redid some things from the last gen? And pre no, I do. I do. It's installed on my system right now. Uh, like, like I said, it's got some jank, but it's fun. It's just like a, a lot of it's kind of just like, you know, maybe I just need to get further into the game to get like, you know, to whatever. But I feel like it's just kind of like pretty standard shit there. 
but I mean, you know, like, you know, crafting and everything else. And like, um, uh, you know, I, I'll say that RoboCop is way more polished. RoboCop is, is fucking pretty legit too. Like RoboCop is a lot of fucking fun. I really like it. Um, so, uh, what else we got? What else is going on? Man, I keep seeing all these articles about hell divers and I'm like, God fucking damn it. I want to play it. But then I keep hearing all this shit about, um, about what's it called about fucking, um, oh, about server issues, I guess with hell divers. And I'm not necessarily like the biggest fan of that crap. Cause like, I like to play alone, you know, cause that's generally what I have time to do. Uh, Jess here says it's fun playing Mortal Kombat 11 with Robocop, Rambo and Terminator kind of, kind of makes you, you know, uh, go back to the, to the SNES days with like Robocop versus Terminator, or whatever the fuck it's called. No, hell, hell dive, not holy divers. Jesus Christ. Holy diver. Uh, get a Raj ally portable and you can play hell divers. I don't know. Can it? Can a Raj ally portable play hell divers? Let's, 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 is there a website for this? Hold on. Uh, can a Raj ally uh, handheld play Hell Divers 2? Let's find out. Um, let's see here. Pocketlint.com says the Raj ally could handle Hell Divers 2, but playing it on a larger screen with console like the PS5 is great for online based games. Okay. Someone here has a video. Let's take a look at this video. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. This looks, I mean, this is pretty fucking clear. This is pretty, this is pretty clear. Let's check this out. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're taking a look at Helldivers 2 running on the Asus ROG Ally. This is the Z1 Extreme version, not the, the newer version that came out recently that's a little bit less powerful. But... First off, this game is fantastic. I highly encourage anybody, if this is not sponsored, I highly just encourage you as a, as a, some of you are my friends, some of you guys have similar taste in video games. If, if you like anything related to Warhammer, Halo ODST, uh, just anything Milsim related that is kind of extraction based, this is probably one of the best games that I've ever played. Um, so first things first, uh, settings wise, I'm gonna go through settings, but I wanna show you guys something pretty important. So I have, we are at 66 degrees and we were at 30 watts beforehand. So at 30 watts, I was at about 95 degrees Celsius, guys. The back of this was cooking. So if you wanna run this at 30 degrees, it's or, or at, 30, at 30 watts, it's gonna push it pretty hard. So I'm just warning you. That's why I have a custom 20 watt setup and it runs way, way colder. We're at 66 degrees Celsius here, almost a 32 degree difference from 10 watts. Damn, and you that know shit what gets the hot. The difference was, while we were in here, we were at about 43, now we're at 39. So I will take that four FPS drop off and save 30 plus degrees Celsius, which is gigantic. Um, the way that my setup is here is uh, kind of when it's a little dark, you might see the phone reflection, but for the most part in these lighter areas, it should be just fine. Let's go ahead really quickly and show you guys some of the settings. I've messed around with this for a while and I think this is a great mix. So the render scale is what the actual, uh, what is actually Okay, let's, let's get into the gameplay here. Wait, real, uh, yeah. real quick, real quick. Can this hook into a TV? Can I like play this on my TV? I know the Steam Deck OLED can. Uh, Asher says, I have a Raj ally collecting dust in my drawer. Dude, just fucking send it to my P.O. box. Send it to my P.O. box. If you ain't playing it, let me check it out. I'll totally give it back. Wink. <laughs> um, I mean, no, but this kind of stuff can, uh, definitely hurt the console market. I mean, getting like, uh, yeah, if you can get it a USB-C to HDMI. Yeah, that's fucking easy, right? Hold on, let me see here. Let me, let me just, let me Google US. BC to HDMI cable or adapter is how much? Uh, 15 bones on Amazon. Yeah, exactly. Everything's becoming uh, becoming like that. So yeah, I want to see how this game plays out. Because I mean, it reminds me of Starship Troopers so much. And I was 15 when Starship Troopers came out. And I fucking love that goddamn movie. But then everyone is like now discovering that it's basically mocking fascists. And like, it's we knew that back in the day. Like we knew that back in the 90s. But now it's like, it's, I think it's a, it's a problem because 
there's a lot of fascists out there and they're getting their panties in a twist over this but yeah let's check this out this guys look at this let's check our map let's start heading to the objective here first time landing on this planet i'm i'm already liking it Now is he controlling it through like a USB, like a wireless or whatever? I can see, I can see some jank, but again, like it looks fucking amazing for what it is. All right, I kind of want to. It it does look like fun. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like fun. Fucking, it looks like Starship Troopers ODST. What's he got? He's got. Holy shit. Look at that fucking drone. Oh, man. Just blasting bugs. Sometimes that's all you need in life. It's just to blast some bugs. <laughs> oh, man. The loud buzzing sound is not the game. It is my controller. It has haptic feedback. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's using, he's using a fucking a gaming controller on it. So whenever I pull the trigger... Oh wow. The actual trigger self. That's that's usually why I use a PlayStation 5 controller when I play these types of games. It's just they always have some sort of haptic feedback and I really appreciate that. That was that does look pretty good. That does look pretty good. All right. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I well, I might watch it later on. That's pretty cool though, man. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. It's getting a lot I I I know I've avoided it for a long time. I've avoided the PCMR type shit for a while. But there's definitely like, you know, some interesting stuff with that that could be playful, you know, um, and everything else. So cool. That's pretty that's pretty dope. It's pretty that's pretty dope, pretty dope, pretty dope, pretty dope. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh it's it's been a long day. It's been a long day. So all right. Uh what else do you guys want to talk about here? We got, you know, um I'll tell you what. I just since no one wanted to call, we'll just do the drop in. We'll do the drop in link do that for a few because again i'm just hanging out um just chilling probably you know watch a movie before bed get some uh get some patio commentary stuff done um i don't know what's going on man but my fucking true crime website that i haven't updated in like f four months now is getting like it, start, it finally started getting some i mean not much like 24 click 24 viewers a day but that's gone up and that's pretty good i'm pretty happy about that i'm 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 excited for it to uh to to go where it's gonna go um all right let's see oh uh, what else yeah uh mo here says consoles aren't alive so they can't die <laughs> yeah sure sure uh shifty gives me here says i dropped 30 bucks on the tomb raider remasters the controls are dog poop and the modern settings doesn't have an in-game tutorial wait so they they redid all of that but they didn't um they didn't uh, fucking change it up. They didn't do any of that shit. Hold on. All right. I want to, we'll take a look here at uh, one of these. Uh, but there is a super chat from Ash. Thank you. So I got my Raj Ally for free on release day. Best Buy made a billing area when I pre-ordered it through PayPal. So I got a free Ally and then never charged. Damn, that's fucking dope, dude. That's fucking dope. Um... I don't if I ever had anything happen like that before. I don't remember if I've had anything happen specifically like that. But I mean, like I have had like some things fall in my lap. You know what I mean? Like the time I've, I've you know, like figuring out how to get into Comic-Con for free for 20 years. Uh, never once paying to go. Same with E3. Uh, the time I talked my way into E3. The <laughs> like, you know, yeah, yeah, that's fucking dope, dude. Uh, let's see. Ralph Schilbottle here says, uh, but it's nicer, it's, but it's, but it's so much better than the newer woke Tomb Raider games. Chuds are an insane bunch. Yeah. I like the new games. I've always, I've always liked them. Uh, fucking, uh, Tomb Raider, the 2013 reboot. I think I've played that at least five, six times all the way through, even on the hardest difficulty. I think it's fucking amazing. All right. Let's take a look here at this. Welcome to a very special video. We are checking out Tomb Raider. Remastered. No, I One, don't care. Two, I just want to see the gameplay. Oh, that's that's definitely nineties. Instinct is to cut the rope and drop. God, and look at those fucking look at look at those graphics. Holy shit! 
<laughs> wow, that takes me back. Look at oh my god, look at those boobs. Look at those boobs. I remember getting this game and be like, oh my god, hug a hug a chugga chugga. Um, that was that was very, very cool. Oh my wow. god. This is what the Oh wow. This it feels so authentic and so oh, they've done such a good job of capturing Lara as well. I still wish wish they'd done the cutscenes again, maybe. Put a bit more work into that. But I have switched to the modern controls, the old tank controls. Oh my god. <laughs> it's still gonna look um a little bit sort of clunky here and there, even with the modern controls. But moving around looks so much more organic, so much more modern gamery, I think's the right word. <laughs> Uh, to get the pistols out, left trigger, bam, bam, jump. I think you can just roll with you. Roll with B. Jumping's still a bit weird. I don't know if I have to. Shifty Gizmir says they oh, added yeah, free run controls as an option for the analog stick, wow. but the ledge grab is tied to the trigger. Let's do it. Old school Honestly. setting tied to action, but they don't spend the game. Oh, okay. Rational here says the anniversary edition has better graphics than the remaster. Does it? That's not the best way to do it. Jesus. What do you? Oh God. <laughs> I remember that. I remember. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Okay, we have a hint there. Oh, this brings back so many memories. So, my dad wasn't a massive gamer, but. Oh, one sec. Can I get up there? Um, but we loved playing Zoom Raider. We, we loved it. I think we lost our save eventually in the end. We'd never actually go into finishing it. I always enjoyed like diving Lara off cliffs. Awkward as hell. Um, be, uh, and then like just the crumple time. physics when she hits the ground. <laughs> the anniversary, anniversary version is a remake. Is it? Oh, okay. So then why remake it? Why remaster it? What did I press before? Oh, we got yeah. Right trigger. Because that's normal. Here we go. Let's do this. Yes! A lot of people are probably watching this are like, Scott, have you ever played a beer game before? <laughs> probably. Uh, I can confirm I have. Um, it's just, yeah. Unless you're actually playing it, you won't fully understand. Or if you haven't played the original games, they're, they're old games, okay? They're, they're old, old games. And for their time, they were advanced. But, yeah. All right, I'll look up, yeah, I'll, I'll look up the... Uh... Um, and the uh, anniversary edition finds the evil bats. Did this game not have ammo? Oh, sweet. Yeah, no ammo camp. Where's that bat going? Where are you going? <laughs> By the way, we just found our very first secret back there. Here we go. This is the anniversary full game. No commentary. How many views? One million views, right? One million views, no commentary. Six and a half. Oh, wow. I mean, as far as cutscenes go, that's better. I kind of wish they would have made the Tomb Raider movie like based on this game. I do appreciate that they made the 2018 movie based on the 2013 game. I just happened to like that story quite a bit. And I thought they did a pretty decent job kind of doing it. Cut the Raptors fucking fight the raptors Lara here we go she's like not even freaking out that there's raptors you know what I'm saying she's like it's a pretty stoic fucking um oh wow this is just holy shit yeah, why even go? Why even get the fucking trilogy remastered? Did they remaster all the other games, or was it just the anniversary, the, the original game that they remastered? But like, I think that might be why the why the new one is doing well, is because um, you know it is all that. All right, hold on, let's get this. M Mountain caves, Peru. Anniversary is yeah, that's the thing. That's why it's because like they did the other three. Joining me is Mo. What's up, Mo? What's up? Have you ever played Tomb Raider? Just the uh, the Survivor one. Never played the originals. The oh, the, you mean what on the uh, the the reboot? 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because I mean, yeah, they're, they're called they're... the survival survival terminator. Well, they have well, they have a survival mode on the uh, second game. Oh yeah, no, there's uh, those are just labeled survival terminator yeah. for some reason. But uh, I mean, I enjoyed the the uh, survival mode on the second game. Cause, like, I never, to, like, I, I never played the original Tomb Raider games. I, 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 all I had was the N64. Yeah, I agree. Rational, they should have used the anniversary engine and remade all three. I don't know why they didn't. Maybe Embracer Group now that they, I think, own them, they'll probably do it. Oh God, all the wolves. I think I have this one. Acrobatic fire over the wolves and shit. And of course, like, he's dead. She's alone. <laughs> the reboots are called the Survival Trilogy. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. All right. Yeah. I've, I haven't played the third one in Mexico or whatever, but I did play the first two. I thought they were good. Third one was not that great. The second, well, my only complaint with those games is, well, that's even loud for being as low as it is. Holy shit. Um, the, my only real complaint with those games is that it's like, there's too many, especially the sequel. Uh, was it like rise of the tomb Raider? Is that what the second one was called? Yeah. Uh, um, that one was just so many fucking collectibles. It was like insane. How many collectibles there were. The game was fun, uh, but it wasn't as good as the first one, but I did enjoy the survivor mode or survival mode and then i didn't play the third i think i have the third one on xbox or maybe ps4 they had it for like one of their fucking things or whatever i don't know it might have been ps4 and i just never got around to playing it yeah i have that on uh epic game store when it gave it out for free okay yeah uh rational says shadow of the tomb raider is great Rise is fantastic. Ugh. I love the Stony Mountain setting. Yeah, no, no, Ralph. I mean, the setting is really good. It's um, the 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 games are fun. I I just prefer the story of the original of the of the reboot more than like the the story of the second one, I guess. But like, I didn't hate it or nothing. Um, are they working on a new Tomb Raider game? Yeah, uh, the quarter is crying about it uh, all over Twitter. Why? Uh. Something about making Lara look like a fanboy, something like that. I mean, like, I don't know, man. It's kind of like it's like I said about that Madam Web thing, right? If they would have fucking marketed that movie to like men, it probably would have done better. But then, like, someone pointed out to me that, well, they really can't because the characters, like the you know Sydney Sweeney in the movie, plays like a teenager, and I was like, oh shit, I didn't know that. <laughs> 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 but then again, I tried. I tried looking up. I'm like, what is, what is Sydney Sweeney's uh, age? You know, like in the in the movie, like what's her character age? And then it just says teenager, and I'm like, well, I I don't, I don't know what that means. Like that's very so, vague. It's very <laughs> vague. And then we're talking 13, we're talking 19. Which one? Yeah. No, well, definitely like, not 13. That. If of she was not. like, if if she was like, if if I could find something that's like, oh, she's like. She's a confirmed, like, you know, like, younger. I'd be like, oh, delete, 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 delete. Like, that was a bad joke. I didn't know. Let me clip that part out sort of thing. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Melanie Mack has been freaking out about the new Tomb Raider. She wants old school or nothing. Oh, my God. Um, Whatever. Melanie, Melanie Crack. Mel Melanie, Melanie Crack. She looks like she's on crack. Yeah, no shit. Oh my God! Let me see here. Uh, okay, seven. Oh, seven days ago. Um, wait, what did she do? Is this like? Is this the one? Hold on. We'll take. So the Tomb Raider remasters are about to drop everywhere at the time of me filming this. I mean, we're less than twenty-four hours away. And what do Crystal Dynamics do? They have to crap on it. I've been trying to tell you guys for the past, I don't know, five years or so, that Crystal Dynamics hate, not only hate, they despise classic Lara Croft and classic 
Tomb Raider. We've been begging them for remasters for so many years and they have refused and it took Embracer buying the Tomb Raider IP and Crystal Dynamics and all that. It took them buying it and handing off the project to Aspire, a completely different studio, to get the remasters we wanted. But of course, Crystal Dynamics had to put their grubby, disgusting hands on this and make this statement. So real quick here, she doesn't even know what she's talking about. Like you can absolutely like you can look at at that clearly peanut sized brain in her head and and watch the wheels turn in real time trying to figure out something to get mad over. Crystal Dynamics hates Tomb Raider. Bitch, they birthed it. <laughs> they fucking made it. You know? Uh, they're working on other shit. Yeah, Embracer buys it, hands it off to a company that's known for doing ports and remasters. That's what Aspire is known for. Aspire was the one working on the um, Knights of the Old Republic game, I think. The remake of that one that, that that's that's largely been, you know, removed. They've also done uh, like Star Wars Jedi Academy, uh, Republic Commando. They've done a bunch of those games for the Switch. Actually, I think Jess sent me those games um, uh, a long time ago. Thank you, Jess. You know, they like, it's just, that's the kind of shit they're, they're like fucking, they're like Ravensoft. You know what I mean? It's just like, that's what they do. And uh, Sifu here says, sounds like a script or some shit. She's trying, I think she's got notes. I think she's got notes about that. And uh, she she's got a drink. teleprompter to tell me. <laughs> hey, did you want, did you watch Hollywood after dark tonight? No. You, why well, put up a new episode? <laughs> I did. I did. It was a, it was a half hour pre-recorded. I did a premiere of it. Um, and, uh, that I used the teleprompter in that actually. Yeah. See if you put the video, quality, the video quality is low. Cause like some weird stream yard shit. So like, eh. but still, yeah, anyway, we did that. Uh, shifty gizm here says, uh, she forgot to drink water one time and wound up in the hospital. Wow. 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 Well, water, water is too woke, man. Come on. Yeah. She can't I know. Be, she can't be caught drinking. Wait. Man. What do you mean it's got H2O in it? There's only one oxygen. <laughs> um, yeah, Maverick here says, Tomb Raider was also owned by Square Enix. The decision was ultimately theirs at the time. You're right. You're right. There was. Uh, Rational says, guys only watch Melanie Mac because they think she's hot and they're thirsty for her. I don't even, like, look, man. I, I'm just saying, I've seen a real doll with more personality. All right? Like, I, I'm pretty sure, like, <laughs> I've drawn, you know, like I could draw uh, eyes and lips on my fucking hand and use it to masturbate to it. So it'd be way more fucking personable. Oh, oh God. It's warm, and caring. It's, warm, it's warm and caring, warm and caring. <laughs> All right. Yeah, at least it's warm. <laughs> it's just, it's so fucking bad. All right. Look up the new Laura model. She literally looks like a normal woman yet. They're calling it a man. I, I, is it like yeah then hold on let me let me i don't even know uh necessarily i haven't even looked to be honest with you lara i think tomorrow is it tomorrow morning no it's thursday morning hitman is is unveiling their new roadmap at fan fest or whatever and uh it looks pretty great uh i can't wait to find out more because i love hitman all right this is this is the this is the new lara croft apparently and let me just uh, yeah that's the one that, that's going around what her her breasts are are a little bit smaller, but she's like fine as fuck. Like what the fuck? I don't get it. They were they were bigger. They're bigger here than they, they were in the, the Survivor trilogy. So I don't really see the. the what Jay the fuck? Hooft says her ass smells like butter. Melanie Mack or Lara <laughs> Croft? You got to clarify that there, Spherical Man. <laughs> you got to clarify that because right that could be anything. No, this looks fine. This is also just concept art. This is just fucking concept art. You know? Oh, yeah. He, the, they also said something about her face looking too manish. Whatever, dude. Like, Whatever, man. Oh, Melanie Mac. Uh, Melanie Mac says her ass smells like butter. Is I can't tell. Is that like a good thing? Because, I mean, isn't butter... Like, don't we like butter? I well, don't that I, what kind of butter. Yeah, I, I, I mean, is it like, I can't believe it's not butter? <laughs> <laughs> because that's fake as fuck, just like Melanie Mack. Like, I don't understand that as being like an insult. But Jay, I don't know. Jay's kind of weird sometimes. Um, you know, Shiftyism says, but Crystal Dynamics came out yesterday and pulled an ugly Sonic response saying that won't be the final design. I mean, sure. Oh, Melanie eats sticks of butter. 
D- does she? <laughs> you have to understand. I do not know the lore of these people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. I heard that. The- yeah, this is something uh, a lot of these people are. Doing. A lot of people on the far right would just eat sticks of butter as a as a health alternative for some reason. You've got it for what? What? Why? I don't what, know. What, what reason is there to eat a goddamn stick of butter? I mean, like, look, if you're gonna put it on your fucking popcorn, like maybe. Um, hold, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this here. I'm asking I'm asking an AI search engine. Uh, does Melanie Mac eat butter? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then it's all like search results do not provide a clear answer whether Melanie Mac eats butter. Therefore, based on the available information, it's not possible to determine if Melanie Mac eats butter. Is it shit butter? Oh, oh, it... oh, no! There's a fucking there's a a TikTok. There's a a TikTok. Um, is it a is it? Yeah, here we. Oh my god, this is. That can't be fucking real. It can't be real, Mo. I mean, I just heard about it. I don't know if it's real or not. Look, eat butter, eat meat and butter, fam. Okay. This is from two years ago, almost. Like, just eat a stick of butter. That was... It was full of carbs. I mean, that's basically all you're eating. It was one of the ten... 10 many stories Jay told before he's fired. What do you mean? I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened with Rich and with, with Rich and, uh, 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 Jay. I, I, Rich can't pay Jay, Jay. That's why, that's why he had to let him go. Well, I know that he can't, well, because for one, Rich is in New York and Jay's in like Canada. So it's like, he'd have to actually head over and, you know, fucking like, you know, fuck him. But Uh, he doesn't have a lot of work for him. So he can't pay him for not working. So, yeah. Is that what's going on right now? That's what I heard. I'm not can't really confirm it because I'm not watching seven hour streams of Rich again. Did that once and no more. I mean, like, I don't. Yeah, Brandon, I saw. I saw. I if I get to him, I get to him. I don't quite know. All right, Rational says here, Rich didn't fire Jay. Um, I I mean, like, does I mean I know Rich like had the situation with like his daughter, and I I don't know if that's impacted. What's going on? I just literally have not been paying attention, to be honest with you. Yes, yeah, when uh, when that whatever happened to his daughter, that's uh, he's been on and off, uh, either like stepping back and letting Jay do the whole thing, and yeah. or coming back and like he's just you know he's a whirlwind of I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I mean, I I guess like yeah, I kind of feel like everyone's kind of going through. Uh, a fair amount of um, like a fair amount of shit just in life and whatever, mm-hmm. you know? And so wait, hold on. I just, it looks like there's an episode of primetime Alex Stein where Melon, it might be Melanie. No, it's not Melanie Mac. It looks kind of like Melanie Mac, but they got butter <laughs> and maybe she does her, look I like think. a lot of other people. She has that familiar face. You'll see. They're rubbing, they're rubbing butter on some some guy's head. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Hold on, let me. Let, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. I don't know. Bizarre buttery. Oh yeah, no, it is Melanie Mac. It is Melanie Mac in this one. This is this is what. By the way, this is what qualifies to be on the blaze. Look at this. This is what qualifies. Oh my gosh! Put the Body? butter. Oh my god! No, do not eat it. Yet. Put it back on your head. Put it back in your head. Off. Put it at the right gradient level. Your flat Earth head. You're such a globe head. You're giving him an advantage, letting it melt a little bit. Yeah, but his is gonna be covered in my hand sawdust oh, residue. True. That's why I'm trying to actually cheat. Okay. Okay. Let's just let the butter melt a little. This bit is there. this is content that they put on the blaze. <laughs> his body's ninety. Riv- riveting. It's gonna only be a few minutes, so that butter is wet. Wait, Alex Stein was on Fish Tank? I, that would be kind of funny. I mean, they're playing Bill Nye the Science. I kind of feel like that's going to be a copyright claim. Yeah, by ABC. So, let me... Fuck. Fuck. What's the point of this? Yeah, suck your fucking 
what the fuck? Look at look at look at the Blaze logo right here, and this is the shit that fucking Eric July <laughs> simps for, right? This is the shit he fucking simps for. Maverick here says this is about as entertaining as watching paint dry. Yeah, 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 yeah. It really is. Isn't the boy uh, uh, Glenn Beck's? Yeah, uh, it's, it's it's Glenn. Yeah, by the way, Glenn Beck. Um, like you know, um, oh here we go. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Fowl. Uh, sent me this. No, no. Holy shit. Is it R rated? Uh, no, I'm just trying to like. Can I save this? Because I don't want to fucking bring it up on screen. I mean, I'll bring it up on screen, but what I mean is like, I don't want to like, you know, bring up my personal. That's because it's fucking Facebook. Yeah, you don't want to pull a Bosch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm worried. I'm worried about that. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up and you're just going to see all the AI artwork that I fucking saved from 4chan. All the AI artwork Brandon gave you? Yeah. All the AI, yeah, all the AI artwork Brandon Heaton made for the fucking channel. <laughs> That's just that's, joking, Brandon. We're joking. That's, that's what it is. All the we're not joking. No, literally, Brandon Heaton, uh, <laughs> illustrator Brandon Heaton made all of it for the channel. Uh, good guy, Brandon is great AI artist. Uh, absolutely amazing, and uh, and we we thank him. We thank him for his service. We thank him absolutely for his service. All right, here we go. This is the video of Melanie Mac apparently eating butter, butter. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, look at this. What the fuck? Wow. And, and she makes fun of how lazy TikTokers are. I mean, okay, so like weird thing with that. Kind of funny, but kind of weird is that she's sitting there and you know she's like i'm eating butter but this is a couple of years ago because she now has like the fucking full sleeve the arm arm sleeve so it's like you know like you look at okay hold on hold on i'm gonna i'm gonna bring this back up i just want to show you what butter does to a motherfucker okay melanie mac right here looks relatively normal okay she looks relatively normal all right you go back over to this and you know, yeah, she here she is in like fucking 4K with a nice camera, I guess, you know, whatever. Uh, and this is just like completely not the same person. She had that deranged look in her eye. Yeah, like this is normal. Like, yeah, she eats butter, but she's fun to hang out with. She likes ski ball. And here you're like, you know what? She probably spends her weekends plotting another January 6th. Uh, Maverick here says she's woke listening to foreign music probably she gives him says also would yeah you would wouldn't you you would wouldn't you wait melanie no, mac, no, no. Mel melanie mac butterface or melanie mac butterface <laughs> someone's got to say if there's ever a video of her now with butter on her face someone's got to call her butterface because then it's technically accurate you're not making fun of her face but she has butter on her face oh jim Cornette would call her butterface yeah here we go here you circle man you know who else like ski ball God, goddamn right he did. Goddamn right he did. Uh, Brandon, yeah, he Brandon don't be so humble. Don't be so humble. Don't be so humble, Brandon. <laughs> all them, all the, all the AI in the world is attributed to you. <laughs> I, I think, I think the, the the butter is what affected her brain all these years. Is it just, is it just like, is it just cream rot? Is that what it is? Is it just she just has way too much cream? Probably she probably just no ate idea. some spoiled butter or something. That's kind of weird. Like, yeah, I don't get it, man. I don't fucking understand it. I just, I'm like, look, you can, you can sit there and you can fucking, you know, enjoy what you want to enjoy. All right, like I ain't get a fucking fault nobody. Um, but uh, let's see. Rational here says Melanie Mac likes butter, and I gave her. Some, oh, shut the. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. Just because, just because you fucking like, you know, you you pay cum tribute. Uh, doesn't mean she took your butter. Uh, he mm -hmm. here also says she also calls herself a Christian. Yeah, no, she ain't no fucking Christian. I'm more Christian than she is, and and I and I denounce organized religion. So you know, uh, so, what's going on? Orthodox Christian. 
Wait, say that one more time. Are you an unorthodox Christian? No, 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 no. It'd be, uh, okay. I think it'd be like agnostic, right? Like it would be, cause I mean, I went like, the thing is, it's like, it's kind of like, you know, quitting smoking. It's like, I'm an ex smoker. Right. But like, I still have the craving for it. Like doing that is kind of the same with like Christian, like they're like going to church all those years is like, man, that fucking sucked. But then it's also kind of like, man, I kind of got like this, you know, every once in a while, something like, you know, you get that weird kind of like, man, wouldn't it be nice to go to church today? Wouldn't it no. be nice to like to see everybody again? You know, wouldn't it be nice to like just fucking pray, like pray your sins away or some shit like that? If it were only that easy, man. If it were only that easy. That's not butter. That's yogurt. <laughs> that's not yogurt. That's batter. Oh, it's your nutter butter. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never eat nutter butter ever again. Like the same. I never way. ate nutter butter before. You've never had I'm nutter butter? butter. Oh, you're missing out. No. Right? Nutter butter is fucking good. It's, it's, it's not peanut butter, right? It's no, it is peanut butter, but it's nutter butter is graham cracker wafers, like peanut butter graham cracker wafers, I think, with peanut butter in the center or something along those lines. They're really fucking tasty. Like well, you, will gobble, you, will, you will gobble nutter butter. You will just swallow down epic mouthfuls of nutter butter. It will just it will coat your throat. Your hands, your mouth, everything. You're just gonna be. I'm not mm, Melody better. Mac, okay. I'm not Melody. I'm not, I'm not Melody Mac, okay. Yeah. Uh, Shifty Gizm says I'm a high functioning agnostic. Bob Tech here says enough with the butter theme. No. No. You tell her to knock it off with the butter. Uh, People would have brought it up. <laughs> Rational here says she just preys on thirsty men to grift off of. She doesn't care about that right wing Christianity stuff. None of them do. We all know that they fucking lie. Well, we yeah. all know that they fucking lie, right? Uh, it's just we heard it from we Jeremy. Well, yeah, they we yeah. Oh, they fucking the grift, the grift, the grift is always there. You know, You're hiding in plain sight, and people still don't fucking react to that. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm gonna try to find this one. So earlier today, so so we've made fun of like uh, you know we've made fun of uh, heel versus baby face before, right? Because the whole fucking pronouns guy, the fucking pronouns, that fucking guy, right? That that fucking walking, just glib bit of humanity. Um. Oh <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Jess, uh, Jess Mars uh, sent me this to show you. All right, here. This is this is yeah. not butter. This is it's okay. We're not going to have Melanie Mac on the screen anymore. She can't hurt you. But this is nutter butter, all right? Nutter butter, the peanut Why butter lo lover's cookie, made with real peanut butter. By the way, family size, motherfucker. Per two cookies, one hundred thirty calories. My God, is it really shaped like a peanut? Yeah, it's really shaped like a peanut. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so, I thought it was yeah. just for advertisement. Reasons. No, it's really shit like a peanut. Yeah. I never had it and I probably never I, will because I, I can't mean, really like, eat, it's enjoy like peanut butter these days. A dildo is phallic shaped because that's the marketing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, those things they now suck. They do tables. not suck. They do not suck. They're fucking. I did not say they suck. Okay. No, 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 no. It's. Um, it's uh uh spherical man said that they suck he's like oh these things oh. fucking suck ass you suck ass <laughs> he probably does there you go yeah you you suck you suck ass what was i looking at beforehand i was look. i was trying to bring something up um, um before that this. ball potato face oh yeah 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 all right, he does look a bit like a potato. His, his head looks like a potato, even with all the weight, he, he all does. the weight loss. Oh yeah, well check check this out. Look, 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 look. We got uh, we got uh, uh, this here right earlier today, or well, you know, whatever. Uh, for fuck's sake, I just want to buy some food because he looks like a fat bastard. Uh, it's just fucking flags, rainbow flags in a fucking grocery store. Oh my god, who fucking gives a shit? But one point two million views ratioed ratioed 2400 likes to the third well i don't know if i don't know how the ratio works to be fair um i don't know how the ratio works so there's that but uh 1.2 million views and you know he's getting paid so this 1.2 yeah. million views is making this fucker a, a, a fuck ton of money 
is what I'm trying to say. So it's like, and then all I said back to he's like, he's like, for fuck's sake, I just want to buy some food. So then I just responded back with starve. Like, yeah. That's it. Just starve. You know? I mean, it's not like the fucking flags are like creating a force field for this fat ass to like reach or, reach for the fucking countertop. I mean, come on. Well, I mean, look, I'll, I'll give, I will be, I will be fair. He has lost weight, but he looks objectively worse. Like the problem with fat people losing weight is they just look weird. Like, I mean, like, like I know when, when, when I get around to losing weight, like I'm going to have like my, you know, I'm going to look a little bit, I'll look weird. Right. Cause I have a bigger framed body and then everything else, but it's like, but heel versus baby face looks like he's like, he's regressing into being a baby. <laughs> like he's just, he's all like, he's shrinking down so he can be in a diaper in a bonnet with a rattle going, wah, wah, well, then, then he can then he can have a, a ripper carry him around like a baby that, that he, that, that yeah. he is. I know they, they call him the BBC, but you know, it ain't that, uh, it's uh, the it's, fucking it's, like toothpick arm for God's sake. Yeah. It's big belly cholesterol is what it is. Um, all right. We also got uh, joining the conversation is, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, how you, how you doing? Gabriel. Did you unmute? No, he's, 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 he's there. Apparently Gabriel, is Gabriel God, he's, he's everywhere and not here at all. I hope, I hope he's not out there, uh, screaming. Um, you know, like you always got to watch out when you, when you drop all that stuff, because like when you drop the links and everything, because people will just be all like, you never know. Someone might come in and say something really inappropriate or yeah. like show porn or something that's happened before too, because you can, you can effectively you can effectively tell your, you, you can have OBS, use OBS as a webcam and then put whatever you want on OBS and have that play into whatever you want on the screen. You can do that with StreamYard. I've heard. So, so it's like, you know, so someone, someone, uh, when I was doing Boulder talk a couple of years ago and they decided that they, uh, they, they ran this uh, loop on a webcam, this webcam loop video that made it look like behind the scenes, it was somebody on their webcam just waiting and I could see it. And I'm like, Oh, all right. All right. You know? And then like I check on it, I bring them on up and like, they do it for a second. And then it's just like this, it cuts to this big black dick, just fucking ejaculating, you know? And I'm like, well played. They fucking played the long game for that one. They did. They played the long game for that one there. But, uh, but all right, Gabriel, you gotta let me know this and I'm going to move you out, buddy. But with, uh, when you're in the side chat, uh, let me know. And, uh, cause he's there. There's, you could hear the sound was on. He might've gone to the bathroom. Right. Mo, did you, did we lose you? Yeah. You, yeah. We're, hold on. There you go. Hold on. All right. Yeah. It, I don't know what the fuck happened. Uh, it's stream yard sometimes. It's been kind of acting kind of weird today. Uh, so. And what happened to the other guy? Uh, I moved him to the back. So until he's until he can uh, message that he's ready. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll bring we'll bring him back on again. Uh, Gabriel, can you hear us? Gabriel. 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 Are you there? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. We can hear you now. He's... What's up? What up? <laughs> Chilling. Chilling. Just wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. No, my mom's asleep, and my younger brother and my younger brothers. Cool. I uh, oh, I understand that it can't be too loud. I understand that. Yeah, I got my no, my girlfriend and my kids. Okay, are what is this? So, what are we, what are we discussing? It's kind of an open thing. I'm just kind of like, I'm not going to be on for probably more than the next like 15 minutes. So it's kind of like something quick towards the end here. I'm just using my younger brother's laptop. That's fine. I mean, I have, uh, my phone is broken. Okay. I mean, is there, well, is there anything? I mean, we can hear you. So is there anything you want to talk about? I mean, I have my Nintendo Switch. Okay. Oh, okay. I, anything about it that you want to talk about? Like I don't. Well, yeah, yeah, I would love to. 
Uh, okay. I saw um, code name the cleaner. What's what's the what do you what do you mean? What's code name the cleaner? Is that? Uh, it's basic. It stars um Cedric the Entertainer. Oh oh it's a oh it's a movie. Uh, and it's directed by the guy who did um the remake of Miracle on the Thirty Fourth Street. Okay. Um, let's see. I've uh, I I think I've heard of this one, but it's got what is it? It's got uh, Nicolette Sheridan and Lucy Liu. Yeah, it's kind of like a spy, like a spy comedy movie. Yeah. Kind of like Spy with a uh, what's that fat chick name again? I Spy with oh. Melissa McCarthy. No, no, yeah, no. I Spy is uh, Eddie Murphy and. Yeah, yeah, Eddie Eddie Murphy and um, uh, Owen Wilson, which is based on an old like '60s TV show, I think. Yeah, that was a pretty good movie though. Pretty weird combination. Sure. Okay, so what is it? What is it about? Uh, supposedly, this dude. Um, supposedly. Supposedly, this dude has um amnesia. And has no idea what he remembered. And uh huh. And then the the cops come in, but he's saved by this chick. However, who tricks him into his, into thinking he's got a wife? Okay. Is it good? But until he escapes and and goes to the restaurant and it, and, um, it was fun. Okay. Okay. Um, I haven't seen it, so I can't comment on it. Um. um oh yeah, it's on Tubi. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I mean, everything's on Tubi these days. The Godzilla films, the from the fifties and sixties, are also available on Tubi. Okay. Oh yeah, and that. Um, mm, oh yeah, have you seen this trailer for this um, Pokemon inspired game called Dokavi? It's developed by a South Korean game company. No, I haven't. Um, I, 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 I need to watch. Um, what's it called? I need. I need to watch uh, the Pokemon Concierge, whatever it is. Oh, that new anime. Yeah. And I want to. I'm. I'm excited for that Pokemon inspired game, the developed by this South Korean company. It's a cross between Ghostbusters and no, it's a cross between Pokemon and Pixar and Monster Hunter. And a cross between Ghostbusters and cross between Ghostbusters, Pokemon, Monster Hunter, whatever. I mean, I like to I like to say Ghostbusters, but you can um, capture monsters. I mean, it is pretty cool. Okay, I mean, I'll, yeah. Uh, okay, I mean, sorry, I, I don't really, I don't really follow that stuff, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm. I mean, that, that's okay. That's okay. Got you, man. Uh, um, that trailer came out in like 2019, and then they released another one in 2012. But like, it was supposed to come out like, I think 2012. But like, nothing's been announced, and the developers are focusing on a, on a game. And after that, they're gonna release it. Cool. I mean, I, mean, I, I showed cool. this. I'm sorry. Go what? ahead. Go ahead. I showed this to my older brother, who was like a really huge Pokemon fan. Who was the oldest one? Who recently turned twenty six? Uh, and he said, "That's I do- highly doubt that it's gonna happen. Like that's never gonna happen if 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 they haven't announced it." Well, I, I mean, like, I don't know. I, I the only thing I I've been kind of following lately is I mean I have Pal World. Um, My older brother's playing it. 
it's yeah it's a fun it's a fun i like it it's fun um you know it's just uh you know i've just kind of been like i've been busy so i haven't played as much recently i mean i i finally i finally got to play uh robocop today you know so it's um i want to uh, play this oh i'm sorry go no ahead. no go ahead no. i want to play this um studio ghibli inspired game called hua h o a is that the is that the one um no i don't know that one when, oh yeah, there was another one that's like Pokemon in Ghibli called Nino, Nino. Uh, I think Nino Kuni or something. Nino no Kuni. I I don't know. And it's and it's from Bandai Namco. Okay, I'm looking up uh, Hua, whatever it's called right now. Um, it's available on Switch or PlayStation Five or. That looks. Oh nice. yeah, it's the uh, it's a Studio Ghibli associated video game, isn't it? No, it's not associated. It's a inspired game oh yeah that one I, i've seen it it's on hello matt i've never i've been trying hey, to what's up, Mono? uh well, all right uh uh gabriel and christopher i'm gonna let you guys go uh i was gonna finish up with anna here and then um uh close oh yeah it out for the the jurassic park film without the without the the without isabella sermon who played the clone girl i, I mean sure i haven't seen dominion so it's like i don't know but Me i've only seen like i've only seen like five of them well, okay. Um, I mean, yeah, there's more to watch. I'm I'm curious about this next one. Um, but uh, but all right, man. Well, hey, thank you for coming on, uh, Gabriel, and uh, we'll we'll talk again soon. Okay. Yeah. All right. Adios. Thank you, buddy. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that one for hanging out. Uh, what's up, Anna? How you doing? Hey, man. Uh, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Um. Uh, hey, man, did you see that new Borderlands trailer? I don't know if you talked about that. I just I, well, I did. Uh, well, I did, I mentioned the, I saw the poster. Uh, the, I, there was like the eight seconds. Oh yeah, that's a bit of a, like a I guess a teaser, but yeah, it's a tease. Trailer. Yeah, it's yeah. a. Te- I hate fucking teases. I know for for trailers, it feels kind of weird, but it does. It's like it's like or when they have a teaser for a, a teaser trailer. You know, I don't. I'm not yeah, too yeah. sure. I like how I this saw though. Play out. Uh, everyone's been saying it looks like James Gunn esque, which is. Funny. Well, I mean, Eli Roth is actually a really is actually a competent director, um, but I think this is his most ambitious one. The thing with this movie, though, is that like he hasn't touched the reshoots. the The reshoots that have been going on have been directed by Tim Miller, oh. who did Deadpool and like Terminator Dark Fate and stuff. Hmm. So, like, I would assume that the action in the movie is probably going to largely be him. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, that could be good. I'll, it could also be too many cooks. We'll have to wait and. Yeah, I don't know. You know? But then again, but the, but like uh, my whole thing is, I don't want to give Randy Pitchford any of my money. None. I don't usually take a hardline stance on anything like that. But like after Pitchford fucked over alien colonial marines, never mind everything else that he's done, and and just been like fuck that shit like no fuck that guy so you're uh, saying no to, to watching that movie no i'm still gonna watch it jesus christ oh, okay. i just don't want to i just don't want to give him money i do i do it under protest because it does look from what i saw look cool uh jess here for five thank you says i know you don't care about toys since you but since you're a turtles fan rumors have it that the next transformers collection is with tmnt i that would be interesting um i just i'm looking forward to watching the the show when it comes out this summer the animated sh- series that's going to take place immediately following the film. Oh yeah. That's going to be awesome. So, Oh, a couple things. So, uh, uh, real quick, I was looking through the, uh, cause we we're talking about Melanie Mac. I found her subreddit. Okay. And, and I found some shit. All right. Check, check this out. Right. This is, uh, this is Melanie Mac pervy avocado has done a whole bunch of stable diffusion modeling photos of her. Right. Like interesting, <laughs> interesting. Like, you know, and he's done a bunch of these. Um, and it's like it's so weird that she's got all those uh all those, you know, people and he does a he releases a bunch of these of her. So he definitely he definitely goons over her. But uh someone else posted this. Apparently she's breaking. Let's see. It's her saying something. Bible reading. Thank you all so much for your fellowship. As always, if you have any prayer requests, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And thank you to everybody who has been praying 
for me as well. Um, I really appreciate it. I really need it. <laughs> I just need it a lot with stuff in my personal life. And then of course, with just everything I do here online and, um, yeah, I'm met with a lot of backlash. Bullshit. Uh, Bullshit. So, yeah, there's a lot of people who wish terrible things on me. A lot of people tell me that they wish I wouldn't be alive and things like that. And uh, after a while, it can weigh on you. So anyway, um, thank you all again so much. I will see you all tomorrow. God bless and goodbye. So she's she's out there complaining. You know, she's out there complaining. Uh, that, uh, that she, uh, you know, people, people saying mean things and you know what? Listen, guys, I understand. I get it. People say mean things on the internet all the time. You know, I know that, uh, that I get, uh, uh, I I've had a lot of people say a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of things about me over the years, right? Obviously, you know, uh, you, you know, and, and it does suck. Sometimes it gets to you. Sometimes it absolutely, uh, it gets to you. So, I guess uh, when you're out there saying people are saying mean things about me and um, I, you know, it's detrimental to my mental health. Maybe, maybe, maybe you, sh you shouldn't go around and, and fucking post this shit. This is also like from like a little over an hour ago. So if you're out there just, uh, just posting, you know, F slurs and shit uh, and everything else uh, in response to captioning, whatever the fuck this is. How many impressions did they get? I'm curious. Uh, 21,000. Yeah, people post shit like this just for the attention. You know what I mean? And they really the, do. They yeah. wonder what happens when they elicit this type of response. But like when you go out of your way, especially Twitter, they, they've been encouraging this by trying to get people to monetize it, monetize their fucking hate. But when you go out and you're just trying to get people fucking pissed off, then, yeah, a lot of people are going to are going to see it. And that means that there's going to be some fucking whack ass people who try to act irrationally and take it too far. Oh yeah, well look at this one here. This guy Joshua Altman, uh, Altman, from an hour ago. I really enjoy your content. I also love Tomb Raider and Christ, though not in that order. But it's sad for me to see you put this out, put out this kind of content. We are not called to be like this. We are called to love and encourage love in others. This does neither. That's actually a pretty uh fair statement. Rational. That's pretty rational. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't really love Christ, my boy. She's only here to antagonize and make money off of her fan base. And that's, uh, that's, that's very true. What sucks is though, I can't see, I don't know how to see who likes these posts anymore. Right? Like how oh, you, you click on the three dots. Click on oh, the three and then dots. engagement and then engagement. There yeah. we go. Durr. Yeah. Is this making it as a seeing if she'd actually, they, they, they made it extra hard like not i mean not it's yeah. not necessarily hard but you get the idea it's if it's not your good. account it becomes more difficult yeah good. but i mean like yeah she's out there uh just you know posting this kind of shit right you know mm -hmm. like oh i'm a christian and then oh well it's geeks and gamers she's on tuesday night main event oh geeks and shame Hang, right. hanging out hanging out with eric uh and who else is fucking here this is like, this is like a, it's like a main event of losers look at this like you know, just is. Like, oh, but scroll down. Can I give my two cents on this? Oh yeah, on the the, the thing. Yeah, yeah. I I'm looking forward to um this label being affixated to things that are not actually AI generated, because you know it's gonna happen. Oh, absolutely, it's gonna happen, hundred percent. Yeah. And I, yeah. I yeah I I'm looking forward to the controversy that that causes. Normally, I don't want to see the the world burn, but for some reason in this case, I just want to see the stupid reactions that people are gonna have when it happens. So. Yeah, well, check this out here, right? So, so I've been posting a lot on Culture Crave, okay? Look Responding at this to them a lot, yeah. Responding to them, right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, this see this one here. This post was hidden by the original post author. Yep. Yeah, he's responding. He's responding to me. Oh wait, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. It, it, yeah, we had the broken stick. Yeah, it yeah. was an AI generated image of 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 of, of Mike Wazowski, and I just said oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yep, it was actually like. Not and they've actually the it wasn't and they've even done it before where i said like uh they talked about sora i think and i'd made a comment about like it's gonna be the ai filmmaking is gonna be fire and they hid the comment so it's like either they're assuming that i'm a fucking ai account which i'm not but i always get called that anyway uh or i'm just being like whatever with that shit and i think it's like it's so ridiculous but what's this guy say in response here some, some people just have that irrational fucking hatred they want to live because, in an echo chamber about it yeah it's because they are against it. It's not rocket science, right? Except it's not true. Like they they'll post about it, but they are very, 
uh, you know, whatever. I thought it was pretty fucking funny, all things considered, uh, that uh, that they did that. I've DM'd them too because when you when you're verified, you can if uh, if the account has the ability to get, you can set it to where like only verified people can DM you, that you're not yeah. friends with, right? And so I DM'd them and I'm like, hey, why why did why was my comment removed? This is something else I had posted, the the like, saying, oh, I'm looking forward to AI filmmaking, and then it's like, oh, they removed the comment, and I'm like, that's fucking. Yeah, no, because they want to perpetuate like this type of echo chamber and like, you know what, no matter how much you fucking bit b- bitch in the comments, like no matter how much anyone does, like it's it's not going to change anything because the fact is these people already have their fucking minds made up and they're just going to be seen as the good guys for removing your fucking comment. By the oh, people yeah, who they're already trying to appeal to because the people who are already following that account probably fucking hate AI and it doesn't matter what the fuck the application of it is. It doesn't matter what form of, you know, AI it is. It doesn't have to be AI generated imagery. Some people just hate the word AI now, even though it's used in all different types of various fucking things, because it's like it like we've said this a million times, it's just become this buzzword that people have an opinion about, even though they don't know jack shit about it. It's a lot of it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, um, it's, it's a trigger word. It it's a, yeah, it's a tr- it, tr- are you triggered? Are you yeah. triggered? Are you, yeah. you triggered, aren't you? You're so triggered right now. And I and I understand some of the current concerns. I definitely fucking do, but I feel like so many of them are overblown and that it, it makes me it pisses me the fuck off because I'm I don't know. I I'm just seeing contradictory shit to to what's actually reality. And just people are not making it out to be like it actually is. They're just blowing up in something worse. And um yeah, a, a lot of that you can thank on uh, shit that happened earlier this year, or last year, I should say. Yeah. Hmm. So going further into the uh, Melanie Mac uh, subreddit, uh, she has a wiki feet page. Oh God! Um, and man, <laughs> so many fucking like lonely dudes are just like fucking gooning over her. My God! Like yeah, she's need, just she's a I lovely Christian feet. woman. That just happens to hate gay people like I do. Well, look, okay, here's here's the thing. I can't, I, I'd be a hypocrite because, like, here's the thing, man. Uh, as much as I fucking hate everything that she has to say out of her mouth when it comes to politics, you know, I'd uh, I'd let Gina Carano call me all the fucking slurs that she wants. So, you know, I, I understand, like, like, sometimes. Yeah, I yeah, get that. Like, like, you let her, like, piss in your mouth, right? You just let her well, go I down. Don't know. I don't know about that, Charlie. That's not going that what, far, what, what about Come taking on. a gigantic Cleveland steamer on your chest? Uh, on dude, your uh, chest. Yeah, you're, you're asking me that like that's slightly less worse when I, I think that's like I think it's I think it's I think it is less worse than getting piss in your mouth. I mean well, Matt, piss are, is are you suggesting Gina Carano is Vince McMahon? I'm suggesting <laughs> everyone has a kink. And those are not and we I, should, I, I, I those are not we should, mine. I'm not a Cleveland steamer kind of person myself, but we should rename the Cleveland steamer to the Vince McMahon steamer. I, the Mac- yeah. Rolls up the, the tongue. Ma- the McMahon cake. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See? <laughs> the, the McMahon cake. Wow. <laughs> wow, you guys. <laughs> what? Am I wrong? He's never going to live that one down, even if he, even if he gets caught free in court. I didn't even know about this until right now, so I don't care if it's true. I'm still calling it the McMahon cake. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna that's just gonna stick forever. Like Hulk Hogan's lying. Yeah, I still hate that. Eat. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it's the same like I made the mistake once of uh of seeing uh, a bit of that Hulk Hogan sex tape. I'm sorry to hear that. Spherical Man says My hey, condolences. Man, referencing a tenacious D song, I am. <laughs> I am. I am. I am referencing that, like, you know. Tenacious D. Tenacious, tenacious D. 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 I don't. Yeah. I mean, I work. What is it? Like I work Friday. I'm taking Saturday off because I have to go film that wedding. Uh, and then I think I probably work Sunday or whatever, but then like next month it's going to be crazy. Cause I'll be, I'll probably be up to four days a week. And wow. Then, oh and so, that wedding's going to be good, good money for you. The wedding's good money, but it's, it's, it's going to the mortgage basically. We, we, cause, because of oh. like the, 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 
the loss of the job today. It's like, yeah, we're going to put that towards the mortgage. So it makes it a little bit easier. What, what if they ask you to film the after a wedding orgy? No, these people are like in their fucking 70s, dude. Like, yeah, just, man. It would just what be are, you, are you saying they can't have sex? Or what I'm are you saying about? they'd have to pay me a Probably lot not. more than what they're paying me to fucking do this shit. Like, that's fair enough, man. They pay you, they pay you extra. How about that? If they pay you extra to do that, would you do it? Probably. Mom's yeah. spaghetti. I no, well, I think I think the way I, the way I would look at it is going to sound so wild, but the way it's really about detaching. Okay, it's really about detaching. So it's like if 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 you were to ask me to like go in and like film an elderly orgy, right? And we're talking like get into the stink. You know, we're, we're, we're just like, you, you get in there and you're looking at like, it's just nothing but looks like silver Brillo pads mashing together, you know, and it, it just, it smells like fucking like medicated Talcum lotion, powder. just medicated lotion, man. It's like, oh my, my hemorrhoid cream, you know, but it smells sterile. That's probably, that probably be the only cool thing about filming that it wouldn't smell like a normal orgy. It wouldn't smell like normal badussy, <laughs> booty, dick, and pussy. It wouldn't smell like anything. It would just smell like fucking like medication and like, you know, fucking, it would smell sterile like a fucking old person's home. You know, they'd be like, I have my medicated tabs on, you know, whatever. That, uh, you have to, you have to be there like zooming in and like manually just to capture the uh, money shots and shit. What are you talking about? They're so old, it'd be dust. <laughs> money shot. It would, it would just be nothing but pss money hey, at, 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 least, I mean, at, at least you don't have to worry about the splash zone man dude these are old people that have that have no the fucking fuck lubrication and zone. like a massive amount of fucking hair splash zone, means, I mean, there's like... no splash zone it's gonna be forest <laughs> fires you gotta worry about the fucking friction light and shit on fire all right because those are gonna be dry dusted ass pubes that haven't seen any kind of fucking you know <laughs> action in years and it's gonna it's, it's going into a fucking drought so it's not gonna be like you know the, the fucking nile down there it's, yeah. yeah it's just gonna be like oh ho oh, oh, ho it's really smoking <laughs> hot down there oh oh my god i'm on fire she's like oh my god oh my god you know like just did anyone smell burnt hair how many that's what it would smell like that's what it would smell like yeah you know like the, like fucking like did you guys take your fucking your heart pills because if you know you got your viagra good for the heart but what if you know what if you die what if you die okay here's my question what if you die and no one notices right <laughs> because like because like no for one if you, okay let's say you're a guy and you die with an erection you still have that erection that erection probably won't like last forever but it's like what if you die and like just no one notices and then it's like the orgy just continues to happen Right. And then like 90 minutes later, rigor mortis sets in. So the dick is just already then hard. <laughs> and then like, and then rigor mortis lasts for like 18 hours. So then after that, it's over. I'm just saying. I don't know if you can it. say that word. Jarman. Let's see. Spherical man here says, but Matt, old people, fuck. Look at all the theists running around rampant. Oh, no, no, no. Old people, old people absolutely hook up. Like that's the whole fucking point. If you go to a, if you go to an old folks home. Uh, and you're and you are either a widow or a widower or whatever, uh, not with your partner. You are I'm, smashing. You're smashing fucking time pelvises. Time to bump some buglies. It's like, all right, who wants to get together for naked bingo? Naked bingo, my room, ten o'clock. Come on. Why do you sound like Joe Biden right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing my ice think? cream. I'm bringing my ice cream, brother. Because because we're, uh, we're all going to play a game of like corn pop. Joe Biden's the main one doing it. That's why. Joe, Joe Biden, yeah. Here's the thing: that'd be that, there would have been some STDs. Think about it though; that should have been no. There, I think there are STDs in an old folks' home, but they're to the they're near the point of death. So, like, what does it matter? What does it matter? Yeah. They all get they all get fucking the best kind of Percocet, and they get to hang out all day and fuck. Now they get weed on top of that. So, like, what by the time like my generation gets to old folks' home, like in the next fucking thirty years, we're gonna have like VR headsets and just like hangout times. So you'd be like. You know, just nothing but fucking smoking weed, playing fucking PlayStation 2, right? Through an emulator on your fucking neural link. And uh, and then, you know, just like fucking going to town, man. It's sounds, be, like, it's, sounds like a heaven for you, you old people. 
Well, I mean, if you could have like if you could have like sex like in Demolition Man, where you just put on that ring, and it's all fucking emotional and shit like that. But like, like I feel like that would be something that would be a big thing in old folks. Like, oh, I can't move my hip the way I used to, but in my mind, I can fuck like a beast. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not, um, maybe if you like have bionic hips, you know, if, like cyberpunk. I mean, you just yeah. thrust all night. Yeah, it's a perpetual motion machine. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I mean, better, better than a demolition man feature where everything you eat is fucking Taco Bell. No, that's not a bad thing, all right? Taco Bell is awesome. Yeah, but you can't have it every fucking day, and that's the only thing to eat. You're telling me you wouldn't eat Mexican pizza every fucking day? No, I don't even like Taco Bell. I eat it only because I'm hungry, and that's the only fucking thing that, that's next to me before I go home. Well, whose fault is that? The people who are open to like one thirty in the morning, I don't want fucking in and out all the fucking time either. Yeah, it's all you. your fault, Matt. It's all your fault. Well, no, I'm the same way. No, 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 no. I'm just no, no, but I'm I'm in the same boat. I get off work, right? I get off work at like fucking, uh, you know, like one o'clock in the morning sometimes, and nothing else is open except for Taco Bell. So if mm -hmm. I am hungry, that's my only option because otherwise, it's like I if I didn't stop off at the store. The twenty four hour store where I can get like, get a sandwich for like three bucks. Uh, it's like they have a, 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 a roast beef pretzel sandwich for like three bucks. It's really good, and and they're open twenty four hours and shit. So I'm like, I can run it in there, but otherwise, it's like if I don't do that, I have like no choice but to go to Taco Bell. And I'm like, great, you know, because they're open till two. They're open till two, and I can stop by yep. on my way home and get me a Taco Bell. Uh, you know, get me a bean burrito. Um, and everything. I'd rather else. go to an RV's than eat Taco Bell all day. I mean, yeah, I think I would much rather, um, you know, I, I'd much rather eat Taco Bell than Arby's. I haven't had Arby's in a while. Uh, I think largely because, um, they got rid of their deal. They had a deal. It was like, you could get buy one, get one for like, uh, uh, an Arby, like a, the roast beef sandwich. And yeah, so, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good deal. I was like, all right, that's a pretty solid deal. And then they got, then they changed it and they're just like, well, we have the fucking cheddar cue, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, the cheddar ham cheese. Yeah. And I'm like, that, like, no, nah, nah, fuck that shit. That shit's gross. That's disgusting. I don't, I don't need like, you know, like non movie theater quality fucking nacho cheese on there. Cause you know, that's what it is, right? The not like the whatever mm -hmm. the cheese is just like the kind you go get. Cause here's the thing when, when I worked at the drive in, we would make our own uh, nacho cheese and how we would oh. do it is, is well, no, fuck you. Like the way you get it is, you know, you go to the store, you get them, you get the cheese in the can. Right. And then when you do the jalapenos uh, for nachos or for hot dogs or and pizza, we'd put them on pizza even, um, you know, you, you pour like the juice in and you, you know, mix up the juice in the fucking the nacho cheese. And then you get a nice jalapeno flavor fucking nacho cheese. And it's addictive. And we sold, hungry, we sold, I'm hungry too. We sold right. a lot of fucking nachos is what I'm trying to say. Even when they were fucking six fifty a pop, we sold a lot of fucking nachos. All right. We would sell nachos. Like we made good fucking cheese sauce for a bunch of gringos in the fucking, you know, in like East white boy County, fucking San Diego. We made good fucking cheese sauce. And people would and come. You, you, I keep forgetting you are a gringo. Jesus. I, yeah, because the image of me on screen. Oh, now, well, two look times. at the screen. Yeah. yeah no, no, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I know you're white. Like, as you keep forgetting, oh, yeah, you're a gringo. Hey, you yeah, the oh, my God. I'm going to make a prompt that's like Matt Jarbo, but black. <laughs> yeah. You know, what are you going to call him? <laughs> I, I'm not going to answer that question. Wow. Say it. Say it, Anna. Wow. Say it, Anna. What? What are you gonna call Same. me? What are you gonna? What, yeah, call him. A, a, version, a, a version, a version of me, but black. What does that even look like? <laughs> I don't know. Moreno. That's what they, that's what we call um, African people. Moreno. All right, I'm just entering in the prompt to make him African American. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you, are you, using, to... are you using stable diffusion, or what are you using? No, I, I, this, I use this AI program called Playground AI. Oh my god! Oh. It actually, it actually did make him make him black match Jarvis. Kind of. <laughs> post it, post it. It's, it's it's barely you, but 
I, I thought Anna was going to say she was uh, she was using uh, Brandon. Experimentation. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> uh, is, is it any good? <laughs> All right, I got one that's not too bad. All right, I'll <laughs> I'll send it to you in the DM group. Yeah, yeah, send it to me in DM. Yeah. All right. Watch, uh, watch fucking Caden or RJ go, what? <laughs> I could have spent more time on it, but they... <laughs> that's oh funny, isn't it? God, that's what the fuck? fuck? How good is it, Matt? How good is it? Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm just saying, um, hold on. Let me, I gotta bring it up here. Yeah. You can't share it, don't show it, but. <laughs> no, I can, I can, I can share it. I can share it. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's not bad. It does look bad. Doesn't look bad at all. Uh, you know. Whoa, what the fuck? Hold on. Jesus the Christ. fuck's going on here? Sorry. My computer started acting weird for a hot second. I don't know what the hell's happening. Oh, it knows. It knows. It knows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, becoming it. sentient. Don't show it, yeah. <laughs> right, there you go. <laughs> Urkel. What the fuck? <laughs> Urkel. Dude, nah, Urkel? No, That's don't fucking. Urkel. For one, don't besmirch <laughs> Jaleel White, okay? You bigot. Yeah. All right. Like, don't do that shit. <laughs> You look like is, Urkel, dude. You it don't look, look like, like Urkel. fucking Urkel, man. This, <laughs> if this is Urkel, this is Urkel's cousin Merkel who fucks. All right. Oh my god. Look at those thumbs. Fat they, Urkel. That's your fat Urkel. That's what it looks that like. Fat fucking Urkel. <laughs> I mean, it is Al from Toy Story. Yeah, right? the body is Al's, but the face is yours. <laughs> it is a weird combo at the end of the day, I suppose. It is a weird combo. It's pretty funny, though. It's pretty fucking funny. Get your little white to play you in your bio. <laughs> Biopic. Yeah, <laughs> who's gonna play you in the Gamergate movie? Fucking Jaleel White. Did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be <laughs> like. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be what ha that's no get Jaleel White to play me in the fucking Monday and Matt life story. So then when it gets to the infamous Boulder stream, show the thing and it's all like, did I do that? <laughs> like, all right, you know and what? then that's where it fucking ends like Freddie Mercury at the Live Aid concert. Like no more information needs to be said. I'm, it's getting, just rid the old one. I'm getting rid of the old one. <laughs> uh, uh, how camera gets started. <laughs> Look, you little white. <laughs> There you go. There, 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 that's that's how this thing's got to fucking work, man. It's how it's got to fucking work. <laughs> but now that now people who are watching know that we're different people. Yeah, we're totally different people. Yeah, that's how it is. That's that's how it works out. It's just uh, can you can you put me as like any other race, like as a? I guess I could make them Asian. Make yeah, me, guess, yeah, make me um, Asian. I'm, I'm afraid what that'll try and do, but okay. <laughs> make them Asian, Anna. We already crossed the threshold. The threshold, you know, it's yeah, not, let's not keep the let, winning. Let's, let's finish crossing the Rubicon. Let's get me canceled <laughs> right. again. All right, I'll try it. I'll then, try do, it. then do Mexican, Matt. It's going to be just a lighter shade of that one. That's Mexican. what's going to happen. <laughs> With oh, a taco man. in your hand. Hey, man, that's what I look like all the time. I had fucking enchiladas <laughs> for dinner last night. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Uh, Who made them? Uh, they who were, made they them? Were, Matt? They were they were store bought. They were store bought. They were store bought. <laughs> oh my god! Who, who made them? In, who made them enchiladas, Matt? I it was store bought. I don't fucking know who made them. It was store bought. Then you, then you, you man, that's, that's no. You want you want to you want to give me shit though. You want to get you want to give me shit. I had fucking Chipotle the other night. Yeah, I'll give you shit for that. Fuck you, man. Don't fucking eat Chipotle. Oh, you I fuck like your, Chipotle. I, I like Chipotle. I like Chipotle. It's, man, you must have really 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 boring ass taste bud. No, I like got really, I got really boring ass Mexican joints up here, man. Not everything needs eight pounds of goddamn rice and a burrito. I'm not <laughs> even making that up. I go to dude. There's all these taco trucks. I'm like, let me get a carne asada burrito, and they're like fifteen bucks. I'm like, fifteen bucks for a carne asada burrito? You That's pretty good, mind. man. Compared no, to fucking Chipotle, no, compared to Chipotle, no, the fuck they ain't. Because Chipotle, at least I know what I'm gonna get. Here, it's all like the red sauce is all fucking jank as shit. All right, it's all fucking like crusty ass, bitter fucking peppers and everything else. Like it doesn't. Man, I'm gonna change your. Noise. I'm gonna change your life when you when you come to LA. I'm gonna take you to my favorite taco place. And it's not gonna be anywhere near as good as San Diego. All right, man. I'm fuck San Diego. San Diego's fuck. gonna be underwater by next year. Who gives a what? shit? They're still gonna have better Mexican food. Okay. They're just gonna well, have more fresher Mexico. fish tacos. Man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> can, can we all just agree Chipotle just sucks ass? I got a pretty decent looking Asian, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me he doesn't have the hat. Oh, Please tell no. me he doesn't have the hat. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. <laughs> what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? Is he holding chopsticks? He's not holding chopsticks. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not holding chopsticks. This is uh, the most racist thing I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> Anna, what did you do? do? Whoa, whoa! I didn't do it. The AI made it. Oh, yeah, sure. AI, blame the, the AI. The AI. The, it's always the AI. All right. It's, it's like it's like blaming the assassin for her. I didn't kill him. I, I just hired someone to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that's fucking funny? Come on. <laughs> he just closed. Funny. He just closed his eyes. That's all he did. That's I just, said, I just said make, make him into an Asian. I just that's make him I'm into doing. an Asian, an Asian. <laughs> yeah, make him into an Asian. Yeah. An Asian. Wait, you Proto just Man. look like you're squinting. Wait, is this real? I hold on. Is this real, Proto Man? Like, didn't we? I'm trying to think if this is who I think it is, but yeah. Anyway, uh, holy shit, it's Mr. Wong. It's not. Mr. Wong. <laughs> oh my god. It's uh. I mean, like you know. He's got that look like I know about that polar bear video. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my yeah, God. Just, just okay, make okay, Mexican okay. Matt. Now make me now make me a Latina. Oh, uh, a Latina? Latina. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. Oh God, no. What, what? Right. listen, you're, listen, man. We're sampling. You're just gonna, you're just gonna look like one of my fat female cousins. Most likely. Most likely, yeah. <laughs> you know, and your King Singera. Ooh, where yeah, you in a quinceanera dress. How about that? Can you do that? Yeah, where, where yeah, you do pee? that in quinceanera. Oh, now we're living God. out a weird fantasy. Like I feel like this is weird. Yeah, this is kind of weird. All right, so it didn't it didn't make you into a. Oh man! All right, if it's, I'm having trouble making you into a woman, Matt. I'm sorry. Because I'm all man, if baby. If it turns Matt into a fucking bowl of uh, pozole, that'll be hilarious. All right. I'll... <laughs> Hold on, uh, your Brandon here says you're ruining my child. What? How? What childhood? Because it's 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 fucking Al. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh right, yeah, it's 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 Al from the waist down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the neck down. You mean? I I I. I Jesus Christ, that oh meme my, is pretty fucking funny. Though, I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually lie. slowly making this happen. I guess. All right, give me a moment. Slowly making this happen. Here we go, Mister Crescent Are says, you, "Give Matt big jugs right. if he's gonna have a woman." Might as well. <laughs> oh my god! All right, listen. I, if, I you mean, give me, if you give me big jugs, I'm never alone on a Saturday night. You know what I'm saying? It might not. Like if it, I, it might not like if I say big boobs, but we'll see. Yeah, it's hard. To, it's hard. Well, if you had stable diffusion, it would yeah. probably be like a bit easier because stable diffusion, um, d does a bit of that shit. So yeah. Damn. Well, if you're gonna make Matt into a Latina, make her make make Matt a uh, uh, a chola. A what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Make me a chola, right? Got to get me the, the fucking fuck? dude. The dickies, the fucking handkerchief, man. The bandana, the painted eyebrows. The fu oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking the the chucks. Dude. I, oh, I, I still right. don't fucking understand that. So, I, I still don't understand I, the painted eyebrows. I'm I give up on the fucking. Whole, you got to try. No, man. I gave up on the whole Mexican mat thing, but this is the best thing I was able to get. All right, post it in the DM group. I'll I'll save it over. <laughs> <laughs> it barely looks anything there's barely any left of you but there's i so see funny. a little bit i can see a little bit in yeah. the uh in the, it's in the, the glasses it's most of the glasses yeah it's it makes funny. me now realize i need to go get new glasses because like Aww. uh hold on here hold on i think we're gonna freak out we're gonna freak out mo hold on we're gonna oh, freak boy. out mo here hold i'll on. be the judge of that sure sure there we go Man, you look like an abuela. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no, really, you could you could pull off like an abuela. <laughs> oh my god! Start throwing chocolates at people. This is why this is, and I can't even do the voice, right? I'm not going to be able to. I'm not. Yeah, no, don't, get, don't get me try. so canceled to do the voice. Try it. Try it. Try it. No, no, don't try it. Try it. Uh, uh, let me clear clear the throat don't here. Don't try it. Uh, try it. man, for two bucks. Thank you. Says Ethan Ralph is going to be creeping on Matt now uh yeah <laughs> yeah because abuelas always feed their fucking kin dude like they always do so it's kind of just like he'll be like uh, yeah yeah but abuelas also spoil the children the children 
<laughs> you know, I was, I was watching uh, Encanto with my kids yesterday, and uh, it kind of reminds me of of the abuela from that one a little bit. Put it like in a, in a shawl, like a purple shawl. It could work out okay. Anyway, yeah. there's, there's Encanto fun. and Coco, two different. Hispanic man, come on! We're not we're, just because we all look alike. That's just wrong. I'm not saying you guys look alike. You're saying it. Uh, I know. Spherical Commander says this is why AI is fun. This is exactly why AI. Yeah, is this fun. is fucking whole. It's great. It's a fun time. Uh, let's see. Give us a good old suey. Um, suey. Oh, is this? Oh no, it's a suey. Suey. Oh, oh, the pig call. Yeah, yeah. yeah pig call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Ethan I don't even know, what, is, what is? I don't even know. What, I haven't even like heard anything about Ethan. Like I feel like in forever. Is he is he still alive? Is he on the run from the cartel? Did he move back to Texas? I got no fucking idea. That, and here's that's a, the last thing I heard from Medicare he, that he's living in a shack. Here's the thing I don't this is the thing though. Like so many people on Twitter just make up shit about what's going on. So you have no way of knowing what's actually true. You know, someone true. will say something and you're like, the fuck is that even real? And then it's like, yeah. like, I don't know, like it just seems like it's funny. And I'm like, fuck. Fuck. Like, God take, take that Ian Mouse Chong thing from last week. Yeah, I well, I did DM Ian Mouse Chong, and I'm just like, why does everybody want you dead? And he never got back to me. That so, means he's dead. It means he's dead. Yeah, it absolutely means he's fucking dead. There you go. I mean, from 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 Twitter well, or, or in Minecraft, as people would say. On, on yeah. I don't want to get in trouble here. Yeah, Ralph's football here says he's on that weight loss journey. I mean, like, uh, <laughs> not <yeah>. not eating. <laughs> Uh, Proto Man here says Ralph's wife left him and he's been burning through all his money in Mexico so he doesn't have to pay his family anything. I mean, that's a solid play, to be fair. If you like, you know, you can't force someone to pay child support if they have no fucking money in another country. Now, if he comes back to the States, they might arrest him and throw him in jail because that could happen. But he doesn't come back to the States. Or alive. If you got, what do you mean? If he comes back alive? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Mo just made a comment and then just went stone silent. I have no idea what's Jesus going on here. Christ, yeah. No, I mean, like, if Ralph ends up doing, you know, the Ralph thing, which is just the, the, the wrong choice every single, every single day, I don't understand, like, legitimately understand how a Ooh. guy that deep in the hole continues to be that deep in the fucking hole. I just like everything, everything he does is like the bad choice. And I know bad choices. I've made my own, but I'm like, I went out, got me a fucking job that I like. It's a good job. Right. Take care of my family. All that matters and shit. He just keeps digging that hole deeper. And it's just no like, recovery. yeah, it's just because he's like, if he feels slighted in any particular way, you know, out comes the rage pig. I mean, His Medicare was too big. Medicare, as far as I understand, it was more or less like kind of just like, all right, I'll leave it alone because like how far, how much worse can it get? from the beat down in Lisbon, but that was two years ago when he went to Lisbon and got beat down by the fucking, by the pimp or whoever the fuck <laughs> robbed him or the fuck it was. Right. We, you know, there's again, there's speculation, that's, you know, and then, but then he went back to Lisbon a couple months later and got beat up by Cog's friend. So and that just, was caught on tape <laughs> and that was caught on tape and shit. And it's like, they fucking tracked his ass down. Like he's a goddamn Pokemon go. You know, and they just fucking like, just imagine it's all like, I mean, they literally were like using his like live stream as a homing beacon. Like here he is. Let's go get him. You know, just you're, yeah. you're gonna feel you're going to feel the streets fucking vibrate every time he takes a step. <laughs> you just need a seismic, tra uh, a seismic tracker on your phone and you'll find anything now. Yeah. Proto man here says he buys prostitutes despite his ex-wife. He's in a tourist body. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't mean, like, STDs are not something to laugh about. So Ethan Ralph will probably have one of those. <laughs> it's I could imagine. Uh, you ever see that movie Lord of War? Yeah. All right. Remember the scene in the movie where like Nick Cage does like the cocaine mixed with fucking uh, bullet uh, with gun oh, yeah, gunpowder. Yeah. And he's like banging the hooker and he's like, are you wearing a condom? Are you wearing a condom? And then she's like, Shh. she's like, you got AIDS. You got AIDS. You know? And he's just like, I don't want to get fucking AIDS. Right. It's like, I could see that being Ethan. Like, you know, he's just too drunk and she just like fucking takes it off. And she's like, oh, you're a big internet celebrity. So you keep telling me, but if I get pregnant, then you got to take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, oh, the joke's on you, man. He doesn't take care of the two that he has. 
<laughs> he had no ethics. <laughs> he never had or any. He never, <laughs> he never cared about that at all. Like, or principles. Yeah. Well, I'm just curious here. I'm just curious because I haven't even like looked on his website in forever. Does he even update it? Does it have anything on there? I mean, how can he update when he's being chased by the cartels? Uh, it looks like the last thing he wrote was uh, on September 15th, 2023. And the title is Ashton Park's Dirty Snacks Edition. <laughs> um, he just wrote something about fucking... PPP someone... I'm sorry. What about PPP? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Ralph was going. The last thing Ralph wrote on his on his blog was about fucking PPP. I haven't heard from PPP in a long time. As far as I know, they're still doing uh, the Kino Casino, but I haven't checked. I don't even. Yeah, know. yeah, they are still doing Kino Casino. When I don't hear about them, I just I just assume they're all dead. <clears throat> and I just live my life. Good old PPP. Yeah, I mean, like, is I don't even know. Like, is 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 uh, uh, what's it called? Um, oh God, is it? Uh, nah, I'm fucking blanked. Jesus Christ, I blanked. Kind of like how I assume Anna uh, is not alive when she's not making Van Houten videos. Yeah, they had. Oh, they had Metacron recently. Oh, really? Okay. And they've been grifting against Nick Fuentes. Okay, yeah, that makes well. It's not hard. I mean, it's not hard to grift against Nick Fuentes, but I don't even know what Nick. I, I to tell you, I've been so fucking out of the loop. I don't even know what the fuck Nick Fuentes is up to these days. Like, yeah, the casino has been doing pretty well for themselves. It seems like. Yeah, like you wouldn't. No, they found a way to kind of make it fun. Yeah, you know. Uh, I'll no, grant I, them I, that. Like, I, I, is, look, look, I'll be honest. I don't fucking care for Warski at all, but PvP is pretty fucking entertaining. So, you know, I I, I get why some people would watch it. Um, is Warski still alive? Yeah, he's still kicking. He's still kicking. He's still kicking. Yeah, he's still on cocaine. I I don't fucking know. I mean, you gotta you gotta look him in the eyes. He it was like red red or bloodshot. That. I've seen some clips from the Kino Casino, and he doesn't seem like he's on drugs, but at the moment, yeah, at least not at least not when he's alive. So. <laughs> <laughs> or at least squatted by in Miles Chong. Let's see here. Kino Casino had the Tekken fight on Saturday. What what's the Tekken fight? I don't know what that is. Like the Tekken video game, or they could have just you know really went to Japan and start fighting people on the streets. I mean, I mean sure, why not? I, that, that could be you know. I mean, well, well, like you know, you you really can't, um, you know, you you really can't uh, do that in Japan anymore because uh, <laughs> all those all those live streamers are now just getting fucking completely, um, you know, thrown out or thrown in jail or whatever. And it's like that, that stop anybody before. Well, in Japan, it's a little bit different, right? Like even you know, like even like as far as I understand, like Logan Paul hasn't come back yet. Oh, they oh, yeah, were he playing. Has a... They were playing Tekken. Oh, okay. Okay, that, that makes oh, a lot more sense. Okay, that makes a lot. More. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I would suck at that. I, I've I've never been able to, to do good. Um, in those fucking things like at all well you never try that's why that's all mad you know no i've tried i'm just terrible at it mm -hmm, sure you did i know it's really i it, i really am bad like i'm really yeah, so am i and yet i still play it let's see physical media says here is this real that warner brothers is considering imax and justice is gray for Zack snyder's justice league on physical media That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I, you're gonna I, give you're gonna give them all hope again, huh, you, Matt? It, it sucks. The conversation is like so muddied around that movie because I really do love it, but every time I hear about it, I just get you know the bad vibes. Yeah, it's I mean it's bad vibes, but it's like part of, part of it for me is like it'd be cool to have. You no, know, I get you because In I feel vacuum, like, it's a great piece of art. Yeah, but. yeah. I still haven't seen Rebel Moon yet. Like I, I forgot it existed. Um, I'm like, oh, they're gonna do the, uh, they're gonna release the full version this summer, because like it's in two months, less than two months now, 
is part two. And then they're going to release uh, the rest of it during the summer. And I'm like, all right, I'll just wait. Yeah, that yeah, seems like a wait. reasonable thing to do. There's no point. I, I don't feel a need to watch it. You know, there's other things I want to watch. It doesn't but, really seem interesting to me. Kind of like, uh, what was that? <laughs> what, what was <laughs> Brodermeyer says, you'd be fine. Medicare and Worski aren't very good either. Well, you know, I mean, uh, Worski's got the shakes and Jim's got the cancer. So, yeah, I guess they're pretty evenly matched. And Nick Fuentes has the Cat Boys and the Black Light. Completely unrelated, but I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It was oh, weird. My. It was weird because, yeah, recently, um, Worski actually came under my radar again because the, the Kino dude started fucking with one of the people that I talk about on my show. And I had to start talking to that guy and trying to convince him to, like, not make an enemy of them because he was ta talking all shit and, like, starting to go off. And he's got a fucking audience of, like, 30 people and only, like, five of them are legitimate. So if he actually tries to start some beef with those people, it could legitimately fucking end his entire internet career. And he just doesn't understand it because he's too egotistical. I mean, all things considered, you're right. You're right. Like, you know, I know, I know you get these YouTubers that are like, oh, if I get the, if I get the attention, the attention will do well for me, right? The, the attention will give me what I need, what I want. And the reality of it is it doesn't because it's fucking fleeting as shit. You know, it doesn't work the way out. It, all you will do is get more people to want to troll you. And that's it. Right? Like, you're not going to really win them. Look at DSP. Like, DSP tried and tried and tried and tried. And and he's just a fucking low cow. That, like, almost anybody can come on in and start dogging on DSP and make more fucking money than DSP. I, think about that, right? Like, anyone can come on in and start attacking him and make more money in the long run. Oh, definitely. It's really profitable to do so. And it, that's the point. That's the point I was trying to make to him is because I don't want that guy to have the majority of his online presence just be as a joke, as a fucking easy punchline. The majority of his worth online just being a fucking lol cow, because I don't want to see anyone like devolve into that fucking state. But I've just I've reached my fucking limit because he refuses to accept help. He refuses to see like the actual fucking problem. So if it ends up fucking happening, at least I can say I, I tried. You know what I mean? Yeah. It sucks, but some people have to find out the hard way. Yeah, but but again, like I've said before, it's like, you know, when it comes to when it when it comes to DSP, he's a person who has largely been you know, his, his brain is warped. His brain is, his brain, like he, he's got PTSD on this. Show. Like there, I, not even PTSD. I think he's got Stockholm syndrome. I he's legitimately so believe long he's, that, yeah. He, he, yeah. Like you just like, you just don't know. Right. You just don't fucking know. Like when I'm working, like I don't fucking think about YouTube very much. Like I'm listening to it as I'm in between runs, but like, and I'll stream if I have time, but I'm usually just bullshitting. And so like, I don't care because like I'm making fucking probably more money than DSP is. Yeah, I don't you know? pay attention to any of that drama shit when I'm not live. Like, you know what I mean? Like that that's shit. I'm, I don't mind covering on my show, shooting the shit with people. But when I'm watching YouTube and shit like that, when I'm when I'm just chilling out, I, it's always stuff like about video games or media or other stuff that I enjoy. Conversational stuff. Um, someone in the chat asked who it was. Ralph Ralph's pill bottle. Uh, that's actually that Laura Patriarchy guy. Um that I think I've shown you that guy a couple times before, Matt. Uh, we've had like several fucking debates before. He 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 gained like the uh, the attention of the the Kino dudes because his uh, his beef with with Jake, formerly of the the Bible, reloaded. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's the whole. I mean, I I remember, like that's so weird. Like just like, explain. Like, Looking at the lore of content creators is always the weirdest thing for me. It's a small world, yeah. How it's all these a, people have a connection. In a way. Yeah, it is a small world. It's kind of like, you know, people ask me, oh, do you remember this person? And I'm like, try to have to fucking think about it. I'm like, oh, yeah, like this whole thing or whatever. And <laughs> that whole thing. Kind of like a six degrees of separation. It, it kind of is. It kind of is, you know. And a lot of us don't, like a lot of us even from the old GG days don't even fucking talk, you know. But it's fine. I'm sure you still hear about each other occasionally through shit like this. Just weird association and stuff. stuff like yeah, that. well, and stuff pops up every once in a while as well, 
you know, like, like, oh yeah, like this happened. And, and then you're like, oh, okay. I'm like, wow, holy shit. Um, you know, and, um, like, oh, I, I guess, you know, someone told me that like she one head got married. Like I had no fucking idea, you know, like good for her. Right. Like, you know, I'm glad it's not armored skeptic. And that's largely because armored skeptic is fucking weird. He's a fucking loon. That's what he is. Yeah. He, I got he, a lot of shit to talk about that guy. That motherfucker is, uh, went off the fucking deep end after after she left. Well, no, he um um he did. I think like got into the what is it? He got into was it religion? Did he get into religion? Not that I know of. I know he's been in a lot of conspiracy theories. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. Conspiracy theories can be fun. Oh yeah, yeah. like so you fucking you fucking go over it, yeah. Yeah, they're fun. To, they're fun to think about. They are, they really are. But it's like, you know, actually dedicating like any, any of your fucking time to like believe, believing that they're real is pretty funny to me. Um, because again, it's it's largely just you know, like yeah, well, I mean, a good conspiracy theory has grains of truth in it versus anything else. You know, it's like, and then people will be like, yeah, like let's like it's totally real, you guys, like. Fucking blah blah blah. I don't know. I mean, I, some I, of them have to be real, like, or at least close to like whatever the hell people are talking about. But you well, okay. But like, do you remember the the fucking uh, what was it? Um, the Wayfair contra like fucking the child trafficking thing. The child yeah. trafficking thing, and it's all like, why would they name these fucking uh, you know dressers? Or these cabinets, why would they name them after children? And why would they charge like fifteen thousand dollars for them? I'm all like, because they're dumb. This isn't anything to be concerned about. People just want to believe it because it's like, you know, they they want to believe it because in their they have to believe it in their people mind. will believe anything they have a been negative bias towards these days. I suppose that's not a uniquely it's not really unique to these days, but I suppose it's just gotten a whole lot fucking worse where, yeah, people will believe any fucking headline that they see that has a negative disposition towards something and they won't look into it or even research it for like a moment. Some people don't even read past the fucking headline. It's insane. It seems kind of ridiculous to be like, it has to be true. It can't be this fucking stupid. And look how bad it is with fucking clickbait headlines on articles and shit like that on YouTube when it comes to videos and stuff like that. Think about how many people just see fucking headlines or or, or thumbnails or any. Yeah, type you of would not believe what happened to this YouTuber. Click here yeah, now. Exactly. I didn't watch the video, but I've been seeing it nonstop, and some people will just fucking believe it because it has that. Is Adam racist because of her AI usage? Click here now. Come find out. <laughs> well, or or <laughs> what is it? Uh, the opening of Starship Troopers. Would you like to know more? It's. I mean, Maybe. that's kind of the whole point of the clickbait, though, right? It's like yeah, exactly. It's like clickbait. Like inherently, clickbait is not bad, but it has to deliver on the promise, right? Like like the like the it has to deliver on what they're saying. But when you look at someone like let's say um, the Rock, not the not the Rock, not, not the, the rock. rock. He's not. A uh, you he can't deliver rock. shit. Well, no, he can he can deliver ratings. I'll tell you that much. When it comes to being the heel, sure. But what I'm talking about is like you look at let's say nerdrotics, like these thumbnails here, right? Like they are very clickable, but they're also largely bullshit, right? It's just they're bullshit. It's like you know, but they're exaggerated for the sake of getting people to click on it. And he's got a thumbnail guy, and the thumbnail guy puts the work in. But it's like look at here, like you've got like you know Galadriel from fucking Rings of Power. And her eyes are squinted and, you know, contorted. And then you've got Disa and her eyes are, you know, they make her out to be this, like, angry. She never looks like that even in the show. And then Bezos is fucking, you know. There's definitely been some AI work incorporated here as well. Uh, some of it looks like some it. Some of it, but it's all, like. All, uh, all those muscular, like, Ray and Captain Marvel. Weird theme, by the way. These big muscle women. Well, they put their head on there, but that's like they might AI the body. But then yeah, the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Dude, yeah. you can't tell me that, fuck, especially with the Ray one. You can't tell me that's not an AI generated image. Oh, it's an AI generated body, but it's yes, definitely Daisy Ridley's exactly face. with the face spliced. Yeah, on but there. I mean, but then the Rachel yeah. Zegler is actually that's an actual Rachel Zegler photo right there. Sure. No, I get you. Yeah, I get you. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. It's like they're clickable, but it's like it's you know, but they do they deliver on the promise. To his audience, they do because of confirmation bias. We've talked about this multiple exactly. times. Exactly. But look at like Mike Zero. 
Mike Zero had fucking all but gone away following the rise of Skywalker. It fucking tanked him. And then he came back and jumped on the complete fucking situation these guys do. And like he pulls in fucking numbers. And it's wild to think about how much fucking Mike Zero pulls in. Like, uh, let me bring it up here. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. And then he used like the same kind of thumbnail techniques. His thumbnail techniques are, uh, are a little bit uh, different, but um, they uh, they they but they convey a lot of the same. They're not as good, I should say, but they do convey a lot of the same ideas and everything else. So here, yeah, I, mean, I see a I see a pattern with the neurotic thumbnails with the quartering thumbnails also. So. The quartering has got yeah he's got he's got that you know he's got a thumbnail guy. But look at this here, right? Like okay, how many subs has he got now? Three hundred and fifty seven thousand subs. Yeah, these almost, thumbnails are nothing special, but they're probably almost easy to make, so. ten thousand fucking you know it's ten thousand fucking views. Ten thousand videos or ten thousand videos. Yeah, I mean like that's so much content, right? Bob Iger strikes back after uh woke pirates backlash right like what what woke pirate is it just is it like the whole thing with fucking it's you know the casting of a ao whatever her i name heard is? they were gonna put a black person in the movie yeah well if you recall they were gonna put margot robbie in there too and people got mad you know huh, Elon, famous Elon, black person yeah elon musk <laughs> destroys bob Iger with lawsuit what is this here uh, Elon Musk just, just destroyed Bob Iger with lawsuit as Disney goes to war to save everything from one day ago. Is this the deal with what, what the fucking Gina Carano lawsuit? That's not going to go anywhere. Why? You know, I don't understand this. What's with all the fucking Bob Iger in the thumbnails? Is he because really, Bob like, Iger gets a lot of clicks. He's recognizable. Bullshit. No one knows what he fucking looks like. But I know, just know the name. Like in this world, they do these. His audience is like the fucking fandom menace type people. Fair right enough, I guess it's they, like that's the same care. fucking thing you know here we go bob Iger freaks out after x-men 97 woke backlash oh man look it's bob Iger. Oh, bob wow, disney bob attacks Iger. yeah after woke pirates backlash gets worse i see how many like, more bob Igers we can but find. look but look it's the same thing bob Iger, bob Iger, bob Iger. he looks he sounds like bob doe like bob doe bob, Dole. bob Dole dad you know bob oh, there's a bob couple Dole. more bob hey a couple more rare bob Igers down there take a look at that yeah, this Bob is so Dole, weird. Bob Dole, Bob Dole yeah. Bob oh, Iger trashes Johnny Bob Depp Iger, after woke pirates yeah. backlash again. Again, this is the same fucking video, right? Like it's yeah, the but, same. But now Bob Iger's in it. Now Bob Iger strikes back. <laughs> okay, but first Bob Iger attacked. Bob, Bob Iger goes to war. Gina Carano lawsuit. The the rise of Bob Iger. The last oh, Bob Iger. Yeah, mm -hmm. Kennedy attacks Gina Carano after a lawsuit and legal. This is just fucking fiction. Oh, Bob Iger. Look Hugh Jackman Bob just Iger. cost Disney billions. He's got what? Bob Iger in the brain, doesn't he? He uh, like, he does, but it's so weird. Honey, wake up! It's time for your daily Bob Iger video. Yeah, wait. Where's sorry. the worsens one? He's done that again, right? Like he's like he just makes the same video. This is the thing with with Mike Zero. He just makes the same the same videos all the time and and we know this and Elon it's Musk, it, kathleen kennedy bob Iger. <laughs> yeah well i mean let's see what is this kennedy furious reaction to gina carano lawsuit against disney you know it's like seventy-two thousand views i'm not watching that pretty much at this point ever since gina carano got fired from lucasfilm specifically a call that was made by kathleen kennedy that really created a lot of fan backlash not just based on the fact that she was fired but how exactly gina carano was fired by kathleen kennedy and from lucasfilm specifically and the amount of employees by the way that were trying to do anything petty to get her fire behind the scenes this is Mike Zero. Subscribe if your film has been in financial flames for a while now. We've talked about this several times, but many projects have been canceled and employees are about to get fired on the horizon as a call made by Bob Iger per his cost-cutting measures, also known as his cost containment plan, that is going to create thousands of layoffs across the board over at Disney, not just limited to Lucasfilm, but also hundreds of firings over at Pixar, Walt Disney Animation Studios, and among other divisions. Well, th that had already happened like a few weeks before this, I think. Right? So this is from two weeks ago. Yeah, oh, wow. Is that how... doesn't know. Doesn't, no, I don't think they, yeah, I don't think they know. Yeah. 
Like, if, you, uh, if, it, if it came from you, like, no, no, nah, nah, I'll go to Mike Joe. He'll, he'll, he knows what he's talking about. He yeah, Queen, Queen Danny, think. check out, check out, uh, fucking, uh, Hollywood After Dark. I talked about it over there. Um, he, yeah, Plushy here says he's just repeating himself. He's padding for time. No, he is. That's what he does. He gets these to nine minutes and 17 seconds because after mm -hmm. the eight minute mark, you can drop in the fucking multitude of, uh, the multi ad breaks, right? Or you can do the multi ad breaks as well as the, uh, the post roll. So that's where he's making his Maximize money at. Maximize that dollar. It is. No, it really is maximizing that dollar. And all things considered, it's like, how do you listen to like someone? Like, I, I, that's the thing I don't get is like, how do you listen to someone who just knows that you're a product? I, you know? I mean, I guess, yeah. It's, it's, um, I, I don't understand that. Yeah. I just, I'll never understand. That. I don't ever want to listen to someone who just sees me as like disposable income. Like, it's just a way to fucking play the fucking game and just, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to just be a fucking number to somebody like that. Maybe that's just me. But that's the whole point, though, is like with with all of those people, you are just a number. There's no. Well, exactly. Well, okay, you know what? Well, OK, hold on. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to disagree with my own statement there because I, you know, I don't watch a lot of these guys. But from what I have seen, they they do have an audience and like someone like Doomcock, for example. And it's just like he does his show, right? His Friday night, whatever. Friday night White. frolics, I think, or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh. And like he has his audience that watches, he gets like a thousand people watching him, and he'll talk to them. And I've I've tuned in like just to see because someone will send me a message me like, oh, he's saying some dumb shit again, and so I'll check it out for a hot second. But then I I normally forget and go on with my night. But like I would assume that you know to have people keep coming back that consistently, it's because he talks to them. You know he talks to them. He puts out the content in the daytime. You know he does his videos that are fucking full of lies after being trolled by, you know, by 4chan uh, a couple of years ago and everything. And it's just like, but they do have an audience that does resonate with them. So, yeah, but how much do they care about the fucking audience is what I'm saying. See, Proto Manier says, unless he's building sources and contacts like Nerdrotic, the videos are meaningless. You I mean, no, you're right. I mean, you're right. Like Nerdrotic, the thing with Nerdrotic is, is, you know, he's, they've got the cohesion and the platform all right like if one if one falls like like let's say for example like if jeremy griggs falls out of favor that would fundament that could potentially fundamentally hurt their whole click but when ryan kennel went after doomcock and called him out on his bullshit and then everyone else went after doomcock and gary didn't fucking defend his friend that killed the doomcock gary friendship Right. Because he was making he was he was out. He outgrew Doomcock. Doomcock is very much, you know, he's plateaued. Right. Many of us plateau in a number yeah. of different ways, but he is plateaued for the content. Mike Zero plateaued initially for what he was doing with the Star Wars stuff. But now he gets into the woke culture, more uh, bullshit. And he lies and he lies and he lies and he lies and he just keeps repeating himself. But yeah. he puts out like a couple videos a day. And it's like, you just keep seeing him and like, oh, maybe he's got something new. Now, I, I would be really interested to see what his viewer retention rate is. Because like, I know that while I might not get as many live viewers, I know people listen for a fair amount of time. You know, some nights is well over 30 minutes on average. And that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know, not for, bad. and not bad. And so it's like, and that will work well with YouTube and everything else. Uh, but those guys, it's like, they just fucking like, I want to know how anyone can actually listen to Mike zero talk in any capacity for longer than 30 seconds, because he just, it's just, it's bad. There's confirmation bias. I mean, he talks exactly almost the way, uh, I used to listen to the quartering back in the day. Let's see here. Matt, did you hear Doomcock saying that Deadpool will terminate She-Hulk from the timeline in Deadpool three? He said he got the plot leak. He did not get the plot leak. He's more likely to fuck She-Hulk. <laughs> Probably is. I hope that happens. He's very likely to fuck She-Hulk. Yeah, I hope it happens like, in gratuitous detail, too. He's, yeah, just, oh, I just want to see you fucking just balls deep, man. Yeah. Just rim that hole. Rim that hole. No, I mean, it's... Most likely she's going to squish his head between her legs. Oh, man, yeah, but, he, but awesome. he'd regenerate. But he'd regenerate. Yeah, they can do whatever shit they want. Yeah, yeah. she can. he can take it. I mean, he, he really can't take it. He just has to endure it. Oh, well, hey, he did say pegging was new for Disney, so. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Pegging <laughs> isn't new for me, but it is for Disney. 
I just I love that fourth wall break right there where he looks at the camera just like that's perfect. Yeah, and that was yet a great you track. hated the She Hulk ones. Wow, sexist, Matt. What are you yeah. talking about? I like no, I liked She Hulk. I'm fucking around, Matt. I, I thought I thought She Hulk was funny. Yeah, he actually didn't say anything bad about Shulky. No, I watched all of She Hulk. I I liked it all. I mean, the ending was maybe not like my favorite finale. That was a very con. That, that was like a very controversial thing, even for the fans, though. So. But yeah, I mean, it's like it's like, but the people like went into it as like this is a comedy, right? Like the first episode ends with like Captain America Fox, you know, like it, that's where the fucking episode ends, and everyone's like, oh my god, how how dare they go this adult? This is a kids show. Like, no, this is TV fucking MA or is TV fourteen or whatever. It's like, fuck, what the fuck do you assholes want? That's my come on, Matt. These fictional adults that have superpowers can't act like adults. They gotta be fucking wait, wait, wait. yeah, Queen, want... Queen Danny. You don't want fucking Deadpool to get pegged? Come on. I mean, like he wants to get pegged. I don't. Yeah, he's an adult. Yeah, he's an adult. He can. Make I mean, he's a fictional thing. character, but he's an adult. He can still make his own decisions. He's he can break the fourth wall. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wonder Ryan how Reynolds, I, Ryan Reynolds breaks all the fourth walls. Right. Well, you know they're gonna let like they're gonna let that movie go hog wild, right? Because like that movie's gonna get the uh that the the movie's gonna end up getting its R rating through mostly the dialogue that's gonna come in through the ADR. You know, that's right. That's what I and well and well deserved it would be bunch of fucks and and dicks and shit. This would be the first Deadpool I'm actually uh, looking forward to watch. It's a Marvel movie written by Vivzy Pop. <laughs> Great. Gotta hate Deadpool. <laughs> How do you hate Deadpool? You hate Deadpool? Jeez. Yeah, I hate Deadpool. Yeah. As a character, as a movie franchise? What character. You know, okay, I, I mean... The movies were, were, were entertaining, but I don't like Deadpool at all. Damn. Yeah. Well, stay tuned. I mean, Matt, Matt hates Superman, so like, no. I don't hate Superman. I find Superman as a boring. character to be boring. Yes, which yes. is a bad, an evil. It take. is a well-informed it's an evil take. And, <laughs> it's not an evil take. It's an accurate take. Lex Luthor ass take. Yeah, it's Lex Luthor. It's not, it's ass not take. a Lex <laughs> Luthor ass take. God damn. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you like, like I don't, I don't trust him. I don't like him. He's more, he's more. He's more popular when he's evil. Yeah, he's too and perfect. That's you. Yeah. No, he is more popular when he's evil. Like the concept oh, of Superman, the con there's a reason why look, man, look, look. Superman is a I'm character looking. that people out there claim. They claim that they want to like watch more of. It's boring. It's fucking boring. <sighs> Superman man. is a boring character. Superman works as a B list sidekick to Batman. How dare you? In the context. You take in, that filthy no, lion whore no. mouth back. Fuck no. Superman, <laughs> look, Superman works as that character because all Superman has to do at that point is show his humanity to Bruce and have him be the, the, the guide back. But it's Bruce's journey from the brink. That's the whole point, right? Your characters have to have fucking conflict. I it like, was just one movie, man. You can't keep making that assumption. It was no, it, dude. Go watch fucking. Um, uh, go watch f oh, what fucking was like Superman Returns. Yeah, which was did a you, fun did, movie. Did you like? Oh, you liked it, huh? Oh hell yeah, it was a fun movie. I uh, love. I mean, uh, the Kevin audience Spacey's. didn't like it. The audience didn't like it. Fuck yeah, the they, it, they thought it sucked a fat cock, and it sucked yeah. such a fat cock that they didn't make another Superman movie for almost a decade later. That's true. Yeah, it was uh, seven they years. They wanted. Later. They wanted action. They, they, they no, didn't have the technology. Warner Brothers either. wanted fucking Christopher Reeve. Dude didn't they throw were... a single punch. Dude didn't toss a single salad. They didn't get what they wanted out of Superman. Didn't yeah. fucking. Didn't fucking. You know. You know why salad. people wanted wanted action in that <laughs> Superman Returns. I wanted action in that Superman Returns. It wasn't until years later that I appreciated for what it was. A good and fantastic Superman movie. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Oh, Circle, like Man, Matt, who's like Circle Man says all that money and he goes out and fights crime. He can use his billions to build orphanages and help young kids not end up like him. He except that. he's Except he's dealing with trauma and that's how he's processing. Yeah, Snyder but Man it's become... Better. Because Batman has has is dealing with post traumatic stress disorder, and he's champ champ it channeled it in such a way that is wildly destructive. But he feels it's the only way. He's an addict to his pain. So there you go. 
sweet. No, I'm saying Brian Singer pitched a spiritual sequel to Superman 2. And yes, I'm fucking, I know how, how, how that does that. All right. Like, I know what they did, but it's also like Warner Brothers still wanted it to be like Christopher Reeve. They wanted it to be like, there was a reason why we didn't have a Superman movie from 1980, what, 1989 to 2000 and fucking six? 17 years, not even 17. Was it, yeah, 80, seven, was it 89? I think Superman 4 Quest for Peace. Which I, which I don't recommend anybody uh, watch. 1987, sorry. It was 19 years between Superman movies. And in that in that 19 years between Superman movies, we had five Batman films, five yeah. Batman films in that that 19 year period. Never mind the Batman the animated series and Superman the animated series. Superman and also the Batman had Lo- the animated series. Yeah, but then then Superman also had Lois and Clark, right, with Dean Cain. Oh. No, uh, you it, know, and that show lasted a couple of years, but again, like I've talked about here is that like in the context of just movie going audiences, they don't want a fucking boy scout. It just doesn't fly. Superman legacy will do well. I think initially based upon curiosity, but if it bombs, if it does not pull in at least 500 million worldwide, it going to tank. You have well, no if, if the movie in is legacy? not an instant success, the, if if the movie is not an instant success, the fucking cinematic universe is basically dead again, because they're just going to get dicked around and dicked around and dicked the fuck around. So they really do need to have a strong one out the gate, and then I think they can build up the momentum to something great. Yeah. But yeah, unfortunately, I really wish it didn't have to come down to this, but it just does boil down to Superman Legacy needs to perform. It does. James Gunn is going to do a great job. So I think, I mean, the thing, yeah, no, I agree with you. I think James is going to do a solid job. And I think that James is going to end up doing, uh, he's going to make a good movie. And I think he's going to make a good Superman movie. movie. But at at the same time, again, where we have got, where we, where we are, I would argue in the realm of pop culture in America, in America, Homelander is a more popular character than Superman. And I say that because again, Homelander is in Mortal Kombat 11 or whatever the fuck it is. Right. Mm-hmm. Omni Man. Isn't it like technically MK1 again? Yeah. Or is that what it is now? But like, look, yeah. Omni Man is in it. Two yeah. variations of evil Superman are in that. They haven't done Injustice 3. They haven't done Injustice 3. Because you can't go anywhere with, these, with how the story ended in part, part two. But I can see. So, anyway. I really wish that they could just do like a Marvel and DC. like Not 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 a, like a Mortal Kombat style game. But like, yeah, Injustice style. Or, sure. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying my take. I know it's a hot take. People disagree. But I think that if if you were to go ask the younger generation, who do you know more about? You're going to hear about, you're going to hear that they know more about fucking Homelander and Omni-Man than they do fucking Superman. They might care more about fucking Omni-Man or Homelander, but I doubt more people will know about them than Superman. But I get your point. Like they might be. Well, Music Man, you went to go see Argyle? They're more culturally or culturally irrelevant, I suppose. Yeah, but this has been a rough decade for the Superman character. Would you disagree with that? It uh, has. It's not been for it's, the past it's, twenty it's years. Been, uh, yes, the past, it's been... specifically the past ten years. Yes, have been a fucking drought for the character. I'm talking no Man of Steel included. That means that BVS and the Justice League movie, which barely featured him, are really the only thing that you get. Yeah, I mean, you got the end of Smallville, and you got after Smallville, you got a. Uh... Was a man of steel, and then after that, you almost have nothing Superman centric. I would ask that you reserve your re- your full reservations and like opinions on the character to see how legacy actually turns out, because I feel like this is the f- best chance that the character is going to get in a long time to actually be portrayed properly on the big screen. Perhaps the first one ever. Yeah, well, well Rashad, Matt, like Matt Black Adam, Black Adam's basically edgy Superman. People didn't go see that. People didn't go see that because like the like the movie didn't look good so you know people saw it for what it was just a fucking dwayne johnson jerking himself off fucking party that's all it fucking yeah it's just yeah it's all it was queen if you like the rock you saw it if you didn't then you didn't 
asking here, do you think we'll ever have a real superhero? No, no. Like, I think, I uh, like, I, 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 like, what would like, like, no, I don't think so. I don't think we're ever going to be able to like fly or like teleport or like, you know, shoot flames from our hands. It's like, you know, have it's, you it's, seen the Watchmen? Do you see where it ended up? You want that? I mean, I would argue that like going back to, to, to the boys season one, when, when, um, Vought was the you know supplying fucking terrorists with uh with uh you know compound v in order to create enemies for the seven to fight in order to justify the existence of the seven america like the yeah america if we if we had superheroes the boys would largely be like how things were i'm not even making that up like that's just our society like our society is like that yeah. You know, we would we would go like, oh, what's your social media account? What's your how many Instagram followers do you have? What's your YouTube follow count? Uh, you know, uh, do you have an OnlyFans? Do you have it's this? All, do you have that? Everything it's all else. An image the, generation. It's all in yeah, it's all it would be. And it's like, well, I just want to fight crime and help people. It's like, yeah, but that's kind of fucking, you know, like you gotta find a way to pay the bills because what if you break shit? Who's gonna pay for that insurance? Well, we got insurance, but you gotta do something for us to be able to cover that shit. But now, yeah, do you want man? Do you want to have a place to live? Do you, yeah, I mean, one of the coolest things I think you think it was it Captain, uh, it was a Falcon and Winter Soldier when yep. in the first episode when they go to try to get a loan from the bank and the guy's like, "Aren't you an Avenger?" and he's like, "Yeah, but it doesn't we that, that, we don't make money doing that," you know, like yeah. that was a great line. He's like, oh, "Okay, great." That kind of like shows you that that they Tony paid for everything, but they didn't. He's dead. <laughs> they yeah, Tony now dead. It's like okay, I, I got nothing. You know, but it's 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 a really big factor that like just our general society, if we had superpowers, man, it would be fucking bedlam. One, I mean, imagine imagine like school shootings on like a fucking coliseum size scale. What the hell, Jarvo? No, I'm serious. If if you like imagine some fucking twisted out wacko fucking nut job right wing ideologue who believes that the fucking rapture is coming in two days. And he's got to help souls get ready. So he's got the ability to fire fucking, you know, fucking ice, fire, electricity. Earth. If he could actually do that, then maybe the rapture is coming. You know, yeah. Maybe right. I mean, rapture. like, but again, it's again, like, imagine if someone's like a cum bender, you know, like, all they can do is bend cum. Like, that's it. They fucking work their balls and they ejaculate and they fucking can you imagine shoot the cum rockets of personality that would fucking form around that person. Someone who be has powers beyond. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They'd be like, they would be a messiah. They would all be messiahs. You know, and then you know, what, what, what are messiahs? They're not going to want to be controlled, right? They're not going to want to be controlled. Well, so you know gonna, what you're describing, like Matt? You're describing uh, a specific Marvel comic book called Ruins. If you ever get a chance to read Well, wait that. a minute. Are, aren't these the type of themes that fucking Zack Snyder tried to fucking touch upon with his Superman? No. A lot of it. Yeah, it's about responsibility, weight of responsibility, things like mm -hmm. that. Uh, deconstruction of the character. A more realistic grounded take on the character exactly. but then people are like but he's not my superman but he's not my superman that is what my superman that is not how i sound like that's not how you sound but it's how a lot of other fucking knuckle but he wasn't evil he sound. wasn't evil jarbo so no I, no but I, he was I, complicated but he was complex there was the idea there about like he had to understand the fragile the fragility of human life after he fucking <laughs> killed no the, no it's true he, there there's the fragility of human life that that is something Superman would never fucking fully understand unless unless something like that where he had no choice but to kill like the last remaining Krypton, the last, rem, you know, remnant of his home planet, that one that he doesn't know in order to save his new home. Right. And like save yeah. those people. It's a very yeah, it's a very Messiah complex It's very Jesus esque. All right. Like the character, he has been absolutely turned into this fucking this like effigy of Christ. For. I feel like I do they too. I, I, I feel like they could have presented a better scenario in which that decision had to be made, but I don't. I don't have anything against what they were going for. I thought it was interesting. No, I liked it. I thought, and I thought they did. I thought BBS did a good job of carrying on that particular journey, especially through the extended cut. Yeah. Uh, and then you know, Justice League, he was cut. fucking dead, like all the movie except for the yeah. end. So, it, again, it's kind of like they were deconstructing these characters in a way that tried to ground them and make them human. And yet people didn't like that because they don't want their Jesus figures. They don't want these religious, uh, uh, you know, um, I, idols to be in any way different than how they envision them. Right. It's why you're never it's, it's why you're never going to please everybody when you do a book adaptation. 
because the way that they vision it, envision it in their mind is not going to be the same way that the filmmaker envisions it. Of course. There's no such thing as a perfect, a perfect adaptation, even if the soul create the creator is involved. Because yeah, look at certain, Flashpoint. Look at Flash. Yeah, look at Flashpoint. You know, Flashpoint how many, how is many versions of Flashpoint that we get as as fans. We get like three or four Flashpoints, and they're all why? Different. Why? But why is that? Because Flashpoint is the most popular Flash storyline. Most people, if you ask them, would be like, yeah, I don't know much about the Flash, but I've heard about Flashpoint. Yeah. So they did Flashpoint. I mean, the Flashpoint was like the penultimate thing that changed DC back in 2010, 2011. 11. Yeah. It was a big one. Um, and yeah, people want to see it realized and they want to see they want to see it realized. They want to see the fucking live action version of it. You know, they want to see. You can't have the live action of it because, because you haven't established everything else before it, and you can't have that if you're not going to be building movies before that. And, you but, don't and have this is why. And it, exactly. And this is why I have said, not that I want to get back into the movie shit because it is getting about, it's after midnight and I do got to get going. Yeah, but because exactly kids, go, kids go back to school tomorrow, so I have to, oh, get, shit, I have yeah. to be up at 7 a.m. Um, but no, again, it's that whole idea that if Warner Brothers would just lean the fuck into animation and forego live action, they would see themselves in a world that they are dominating Marvel over. And if you don't believe me, you guys saw what was what was what was hinted out today, right? The Spider Verse pitch, uh, esque pitch for Batman, Batman Beyond, Beyond, and like doing doing like you know like Neo was it New Gotham or Neo Gotham, whatever it is, Neo Gotham, yeah, you know, yeah. as as being a as being something you know in the vein of Spider Verse. That kind of animation style. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. And if it's well it done, well, you know, well written, well directed. And again, I'm just saying, and you know, people out there, are, you know, you're gonna fucking want to disagree with me. But uh well, it's AI fun is to gonna, disagree with you, man. AI yeah. is gonna be the reason why it happens. True. They're Wait, gonna be I mean, I'm gonna, you think I'm gonna disagree with you on that? Like no. Well, and no, I, you're not, you're not, but uh other people Mo will. Mo will, yeah. Mo the hoe. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's, it, I mean, it's, I know, you, I know, you, you're talking about DC should go to uh, straight to animation to do these big, like, plot uh, uh, storylines, like Crisis on Infinite Earths. They just released the first part of the trilogy. I saw it like two weeks ago, and holy shit, the animation is crap. Yeah, they've gone. The animation has gone to shit. Um, I seriously saw the ending. When the ending where the flash just says everybody and they have a, a pan shot of the entire uh, group of heroes at uh, on the satellite and they're like holy shit they're running like one frame a second or something yeah it gets pretty bad but here i want to show you guys this though right so this is um this is one of the things the sore announcements from last week and but this is uh sound has been added so just just check this out okay In a place beyond imagination, where the horizon kisses the heavens, one man dares to journey where few have ventured. Armed with nothing but his wit and an unyielding spirit, he seeks the answers to mysteries that lie beyond the stars. Looks like PewDiePie. Damn, that's crazy, man. So that's all of cool. that, exactly. That's when I was watching these sore videos from last week, and I was like, "Wow, this is amazing." The first thing that popped in my head was, "Dude, fucking voiceover artists are gonna be fucking." working like working their ass off with this shit but what about what about fucking uh you know foley artists you know because foley artists are gonna have to make the sounds and yeah you have sound effect libraries but in many times you know uh, the, having a foley artist actually go through and make the sounds of, of walking on on steps 
different types of pavement, different types of like, you know, linoleum or whatever. That's a full on, that's a full on gig, you know? And so like, if you've got the AI that can now analyze what the surface uh, that the person's walking on and it can replicate sounds of a person walking in lockstep with what it's seeing on screen, that is some shit right there. Imagine just like, uh, you know, they'll be able to do a lot with this. If you can, if you set a style and you build it off from there, yeah, you'll need to add visual effects. Yeah, you'll need to add a bunch of stuff to it, but it was, should realistically cut down on the costs and the time, the turnaround time. But I don't think they're going to do this in theatrical first, to be fair. I think they're going to do this on their home video shit. We'll see that before we see anything theatrical. But I do think we are going theatrical with it. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see, man. I'm curious to see what happens. Quite interesting, though. Yeah, Proto Man here says, uh, this is an amazing tool for people with low budgets. Like, you have no excuse to, to not make your dream movie now. Exactly. I mean, it's now, 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 to be fair, one of the things I was reading about um, about Sora is that some of those generations that take upwards of a minute can take about an hour and a half to generate. So, you know, it's very impressive. It's impressive. But if there's, if the generation is jank and you got to go back and re-roll, that's another hour and a half. Yeah, that's fair. So like that is, that is going to take some time and shit. And so it will take a bit of time to get there, but yeah, it's, it's absolutely true. You will have no reason to not make your own shit. Now, it, does that mean that it's get the market's going to be flooded with shit? Oh, a hundred fucking thousand percent. But good shit will still find its way through. It has to work a little harder, but it will still find its way through. True. Kind of like the video games in the 80s. Yeah, I mean, when, when, when you know, what was it? Uh, when all those companies realized that, that they could publish games uh, for the fucking Atari and all yeah. that crap came out. Uh, we're work. gonna, yeah, we're gonna see a bit of that, absolutely. But I mean, just imagine like when somebody's able to take it and they're able to go. Because I've been watching some videos people have made about how to how to imitate Studio Ghibli in Blender, you know, and like imagine UE five. And I've talked a lot about this, but like UE five being able to manipulate is what whatever it's able to manipulate, especially when they're if they if if Epic or sorry Unreal merges in ai with it what if unreal 6 has all of those I mean, not even unreal 6 but but you know all those capabilities of being able to like set your scene set your camera movement set your shit and then like tell it okay here's what i wanted to do and it goes and it does it because that one where that guy looked like pewdiepie they said like a movie trailer for this like lone spaceman and it came up with all those different scenes and it looked not 100% consistent, but like it looked really good, you know, and if they start being able to develop this shit in like fucking 4K, because they're not going to have any fucking image resolution issues, you know, like I can already upscale through mid journey up to like 8K. And it's like, you just have to have the GPU to be able to do it. That's awesome, man. Times so, are changing, Jarbo. Yeah, so I mean, well, plus you here says so there will be an AI crash and Nintendo will save them. Yeah, most likely there will <laughs> definitely be an AI crash. Like, make no fucking mistake. Um, Proto Man here says we don't know if there's going to be a crash because we haven't seen how successful it's going to get. Well, like, yeah, I mean, and like the idea here is this: is like looking at Sora right now. It's literally the worst it will ever be. You know, a AI will will never will never be fucking worse than that shit. You know? I feel you, man. And that's kind of like, the funny thing about it is like, that's where everything is going. It's like, you know, it, it, I see a lot of these artists on Twitter that are just like, oh, we're never going to get replaced by AI. And it's like, I, yeah, I wouldn't ever think you're going to get replaced by AI. But what you should do is you should fucking utilize this shit to get yourself out there in front of everybody. You mean overtake it? And yeah, like make it your own, make Hollywood your bitch. It's just mostly like what I think it is, is that people are afraid. I think people are afraid to use it. Um, I think they're afraid to use it because they're afraid of the implications. I think they're afraid of being seen as a traitor. I think they're afraid of, of people, you know, questioning them, right. Of like, 
well, you're not really an artist if you if you use this. You're not you're not you're you're not you know you're a failure if you use this. Blah blah blah. You know, and it's like, well, fuck you. Like that's not, you know, that's not up that, to them. Like that's not up to you. Yeah, it's all like, you know, like I, I mentioned this. I think I mentioned this last night talking to uh, talking to Herman. You know, like I want to fucking raise uh, raise funds to shoot a movie, and then I want to give it away. Post it for post it for free. We fund the movie. I make a little bit of money to live off of because for the time to make it. And then like the idea there is, you know, you can watch it for free, but if you want to buy the DVD, the DVD will have the other shit on it. Right. So it's like, there's that. What if I want to buy a VHS of it? Maybe. There's still VHS that's around. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have to, you know, figure that out, but yeah. I'll pay you extra for that. Uh, here, Protoman says, but yeah, kind of like how crypto NFTs was the next big thing and it imploded and spit out a disgusting cesspit of criminals and scammers across the globe. Uh, AI is going to cause issues, but unlike crypto, AI will honestly help people get better. I truly believe that. No, no, I agree with you. I think the thing with crypto and NFT, the biggest problem with that was it was the um, the get rich quick stuff is, is what I think the problem was. Because you look at something like I have a friend of mine who fucking swears by NFTs still to this day swears by NFTs. And I'm like, NFTs are a scam. He's like, no, you just don't understand what they are. I'm like, now, if you were to come to me and say, I think the blockchain is a good piece of technology that will benefit people. Yeah, I think the blockchain will be a good piece of tech that will benefit people. Because it's a way to, it, it is a way to kind of like, you know, someone had mentioned when it comes to like um, uh, uh, voting protections, you know, having like making sure you have fair and fraud free uh, voting. Someone had said, well, what about the blockchain? And I was like, that's actually a solid idea because you're not going to be able to, you know, you're not going to be able to fake the blockchain. But again, it requires a, a lot, you know, it, re- it would require something massive to make that shift a reality. Yeah. And we're simply not there yet because, you know, fucking Jimmy Fallon and a bunch of other fucking limp dick goddamn celebrities, you know, fucking put out millions of dollars for that board ape yacht club bullshit. And tried to legitimate, you know, they tried to pre-legitimize NFTs as being this fucking thing, you know, and we all, is there, is there a legitimate, is there a legitimate NFT project that's ever seen the fucking light of day? No, I heard a ton of, like, I heard, especially when they were like at their peak in popularity, I heard a ton about video games that were going to try and uh, like implement them as like a core game mechanic. And none of that ever oh, yeah. came to fruition. Ubisoft. Well, no, Ubisoft did. They tried giving like if you like, oh, if you get uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you get an NFT or some. Bro, no bullshit. way. I didn't hear about like that. Ghost Recon Breakpoint has become a good game, by the way, just as an FYI. Yeah, it um, took years. It, though. Took years. It did. It took years, but like they, I, I reinstalled it the other day, and I was playing through the fucking hardcore mode. Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! That is tough. Um, I get wrecked fucking hardcore anyway though my my whole thing is the only the only nft project that i want to see is kevin smith filmed a horror movie believe it or not called kilroy was here they shot it in florida and the movie was was pitched as being an nft project so like as far as i know the movie's done but like no one's ever seen it and what sucks is this weekend in, I think it's out of Orlando or Miami, Kevin Smith is doing a cruise, a three-day cruise. The Viewer Cruise. And uh, and and I really wanted to go to it, but I, I couldn't afford it. So Miami. Hmm. Well, it's like, it would have cost me, well, it would have cost me a plane ticket to fly out there, hotel, obviously, for the night. And then it was, I mean, like, unless I went with like a couple people, it would have been about $1,800. Jeez. for uh, for a single cabin a single occupancy cabin you know and it would don't get me wrong it would have been fucking dope as shit but like they were pushing it pretty hard towards the end there and i think that they um I, I, desperate. I think they were getting a little bit desperate so i don't think it will happen again but it's like i would that would be fucking amazing for yeah. one i like cruising and then two to like be on a boat with kevin smith for three days and like get the opportunity to maybe at some point like pick his brain would be fucking awesome you know, um, yeah. but it's also like, I, but again, it's like such a fucking, you know, like if I was working, if I was making the amount of money that I was making during December at my job, like 
every month, I'd be like, yeah, I could afford that shit. It was always Christmas all the time for you, man. You would be, you'd be if I, well, bitch. well, no, when we, well, next month we get into fucking hard, we get into fucking uh, spring break and travel season. So that's going to be, I'll be fucking working my damn ass really off. Really in man. Washington and spring break stuff? People, people need to travel. To, yeah. to Washington, the hippie uh, country. People travel to and from. I take to and from. What are you talking about? I take people where they need to go, but oftentimes that's like home. Dude, I, okay, okay. So the other day I had a, I had a private van for nine people um, who were coming in, uh, supposed to be in at seven o'clock, didn't get in till 11 o'clock. I drove them home. They just come back from a nine day ski trip in Austria. Yes. And I get them, I, yeah, right. I get them home. This house is nice as fuck. Fucking rich ass neighborhood. And then as we're driving back, they're like, they're talking to me like, oh, who's going to tip the driver, you know? <laughs> and I'm in the car, I'm in the car with them. And like, they're all talking amongst themselves. And one guy's like, oh yeah, you pay for the van. Oh, the van was like a, a couple hundred and it was only to go like 30 minutes, but it was a couple hundred bucks, you know? Not and bad. so like, again, they paid it. And so then they're like, oh, let's tip, let's tip, let's tip. And I'm, I'm sitting there going like, I'm in my mind, I'm thinking like 10 bucks. You know what I mean? Like it's not, it, it was an easy drive. You know, we get we get to the guy's place. I I help unload everything. Uh, they had been traveling for twenty six hours at that point. They were tired of shit. It was my last run of the night. And then the guy fucking slips me a bill. I put it in my pocket, but I felt the bill first. I'm like, it feels a little crisper than a ten. I'm thinking, man, maybe they toss me a twenty. That's fucking dope. I get in the van to take off. I pull up my pocket. It's a fucking crisp, brand new hundred dollar bill. Jesus. Damn, yeah. Jarbs. I was like, fuck. Yeah, man. man. The highest I ever got tip was three hundred dollars. No, three hundred twenty dollars. Dude, the biggest tip I've got so far at work was uh two and a half. Not even that. It was like a two hour, two hour private charter van. They tipped ninety in the app ahead of time, and then they tipped me like another forty in cash when it was over. And all I did is drive them, literally drive them to Christmas lights. Uh, they wanted to go see Christmas lights. Oh yeah, and, and there and there was there was a too. and there was a drive through right, a drive through one that they wanted to go to. So I got to drive them through, which I'd never been before. And there was fourteen uh, passengers because it was like a private van. And then yeah, I fucking made some serious cash. Like, dude, my job is awesome. I love my job. I love yeah. my job. It's I it's it's been, when you get that kind of that kind of cash, like just driving around, it's just fucking fu it's fucking wonderful. <laughs> No, Jarbo, you better start dancing instead, Jarbo. Yeah, I got, you, you better, better go back to dancing. You, you, you got to watch them Warhammer 40Ks. You got to fucking, yeah, you got to yeah, sing yeah. them karaoke's. Yeah, you'll, you, you're going to eat the bugs. You're going to do the karaoke. I still don't understand do why all. you don't like karaoke, man. It's uh, not, okay, okay, hold well, on, hold on, hold on. not waking up your family. It is, uh, yeah, it's the most that's the that. biggest factor. It's not waking up my family. Yeah. Okay, so it's like, do I like to sing? Fuck yeah, I like to sing. Am I good at it? Fuck no, I'm not good at it, but I like to do Ooh, it man. anyway. Okay, but, but. The thing is, though, is like when I'm using StreamYard, the way the audio comes in, right? It starts like it's it's very difficult to do it in a way that I feel like, like that I feel like I can get the harmony. You know what I mean? Because like you got to try to find the harmony sometimes and you got to hear it and you got to kind of get there. It's difficult to get the harmony when I'm trying to like keep my voice down and then I'm all like trying to keep it down. And I'm hearing it in my ear. I'm hearing the feedback. It doesn't sound good because I'm I'm not able to express. And then I start laughing because it's so fucking terrible, you know. And like some things are just not good. You know, it's like when, like some of those things are just I can't sing those songs. You know. I mean, at least you can rap. I mean, I hate when people uh, when I go karaoke with friends. If I try to rap song, I'm like, I can't rap. I can't. Hey, no job. I need you to do this karaoke song with the N word in it. Come on, I, uh, Come uh, on when I, Well, when I did WAP, when I tried doing WAP, yeah, yeah. that was, yeah, I should have gone for the for the radio edit. Yeah, you, you, you made should've. you made uh, Ben Shapiro blush with those words. <laughs> that wet ass p word. Oh God, <laughs> such a fucking name from poop. It's all right. Just, maybe you can get your half black brother to sing it instead. Yeah, yeah, Merkel. Got to get Merkel to sing it. He can say <laughs> it. See, uh, you, even you, Merkel even Jarbo, you yeah. agree, that, agree that you look like Merkel. If you're black. You can be the MC Jarbo. We know you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, he's largely disappeared, man. He's largely disappeared. I think he's out doing his own man. shit now. 
but no i mean it's like it's like uh uh i mean like i like this thing i i fucking like what was it the other day um this is how you know you have a good relationship with your kids right because i started introducing my kids to fucking techno like club music you know like stuff from the early night from like the late 90s early 2000s you know like alice dj every time we touch uh darude sandstorm or alice dj better off alone sorry um darude sandstorm fucking spy break you know like uh yeah. a little bit of a, a little bit of fucking prodigy I not smack my bitch up but other shit you know but anyway like my they um my 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 kids <laughs> really like um they like uh cascada every time we touch that's why i said it and so they were asking me to play it yesterday and so we're in the car and then i'm i'm driving them home and you know, you're playing it and then like it's it goes right into like the fucking like to the the hook of the song or whatever it is, a chorus. Yeah. And like the three of us, you know, me being 41, almost 42, a six year old and a four year old just also going like every time we touch, I get the feeling and every time we kiss, I reach for the sky. You know, we're just all like just dancing in the car. And like <laughs> the thing the thing I loved about that was like those are memories that they're going to have. Yeah. Right. Their dad being a big ass goofball. And like listening to like fucking techno music and like singing along and dancing around and everything else. Like to me, that's like really fun. Like I taught my daughter tonight how to draw the Stussy S. A what? The Stussy S. You know Stussy? No. I don't get out much, Matt. No. You really don't get out much. Do I show them? Yes, yes, yes. Spherical Man. We play, we do play Daft Punk. Daft yes, Punk, we do. Man. We play, yeah. Get Lucky is Get Lucky is a is a is a, is a big one in our household. Cause that's like one of my all time favorite songs is get lucky. Um, bring life back to music. is much better than that one. Wait, what is it? Uh, bring life back to music. Is that from the same album? Oh, okay. Um, I don't think I've heard that one, but I mean, I've heard that one, like, um, uh, like give yourself to dance or whatever, or lose yourself to dance, uh, that Farrell does with them as well. It's great. Anyway, it's like, I love fucking, um, uh, I, I love Daft Punk, man. They're like one of my favorites. Uh, I was really bummed when they uh, when they broke up. Um, they'll be back. They'll be yeah. They'll be back. They'll, yeah, maybe. Uh, they're just taking a break from each other. They probably just like said one word too many in French, and they're like, okay, well, we need a ten year break. That can happen. Uh, okay, so this is the Stussy S. Um, you seen these? Yeah, yeah. In high school, we do that all. Yeah, in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh you know what was i watching the, i was watching something the other day and there was like a stussy s written on it or some shit it was like something was old school shit i thought that was pretty wait funny. was this around when you were young too jarbo yeah stussy no, dude, dude no we, way no way no no way, no way dude no way. we used to go to target to get stussy and massimo i thought right? I, I thought the 2000s kids invented this That's no crazy. this was a no this was around in the fucking 90s dude that's yeah. wild, brother. I don't. I almost don't believe it. That's crazy. This is here. Look, the cool S is what they called it. Wikipedia. Yeah, the cool S, man. The cool S. Cool. Say cool. Matt, Matt learned this when he was in comp. It became prevalent around the early 1970s as part of graffiti culture. Damn, yeah. this thing has been around just longer, way longer than I thought. Fucking hell. Yeah. Uh, the name Superman S comes from. The, I mean, well, there's maybe that as well. I think like Stussy as a brand. Also, did we we know we knew it as the Stussy S, but apparently the symbol has been trademarked in the United States in July 2020. Uh, but Mark May, the trademark owner, states that he does not wish to own the trademark for financial reasons, or rather, and rather to preserve it and uh, truly to revel in its irrever irreverence. Okay, that's cool. So that someone trademarked it in order to make sure that it can't be trademarked by anybody else, and then controlled. Fair enough. So that's that's, we, that's we based like that's based yeah that's pretty base stussy 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 you have, you have this tattooed on you somewhere Matt? no i don't have them tattooed on me but i taught i taught my daughter how to draw it and she's like she goes dad 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 make the s make the s make the s <laughs> i'm like all right fine so i grab a marker and she's like no use this she hands me this like big fat crayola black crayon perfect i'm like all right you know and then i hand it to her and then like i draw it out on her paper and then she's like all right cool and then she starts like um she just fucking like colors it in all black right so you can't even tell it's an s it looks like an eight or like two diamonds fucking and and then she fucking tears it out and then she goes and puts it on the fridge it's just... <laughs> you're teaching your daughters doing something my my uh 
my gang banging brother would do. <laughs> well, you know, oftentimes, like, look at, like, you know, I mean, that kind of stuff. Look at, like, 420 used to be this fucking uh, obscure thing that only stoners knew what it was. And then, you know, now everyone's a stoner. So. Except yeah. Anna. Anna's not a stoner. Of course not. Of course not. Yeah, never. Never. I would never engage in the fucking devil's cannabis. Yeah. I mean, well, I can't because of my job. They they fucking drug test us. Damn, man. Well, no, that's fine. She, Anna that's doesn't fine. partake. She sells. That's, you know, that's how she keeps herself afloat. Is it legal in your state? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. See? Dealers basically well, don't Bumble exist anymore. Knows what he's talking about, man. He knows yeah, I don't. Yeah, no. Is there still like the? I mean, I'm sure there are still people that are like old school and want to get it. Like one of the uh, one of the the passengers that uh, my company picked up the other day. Uh, he's been on Joe Rogan a couple times, and so like you know that's kind of how we know him. And and he gets in, and I see him, and I said, "Oh, hey, what's up, man? Like, how you doing?" And he's like, "Oh, hey, are you my driver?" And I'm like, "Nah, not tonight, dude. I'm not going out that way." He's like, oh man. He's like, hey, I'm gonna go do a fucking security check. And I'm like, all right. And like he walks around the corner and he just starts fucking smoking weed. <laughs> and like we're in a parking lot. Like we're like in a fucking covered parking lot. And like you can't smoke there. And it was really funny because like everyone could smell it. Like everyone knew that it was there, but no one knew who it was. So one of our one of our other drivers is there and he's like a you know, he's like a younger Latino guy. And like one of our dispatch was like, she she started smelling it and she looks at him and she's like are you high right now and i just and i knew what it was and i'm all like now that's just racial profiling <laughs> don't do that <laughs> she's wow like, oh. she's like i didn't mean it i didn't mean it he's like he's like yeah i'm gonna report you and he's like i didn't do shit why everyone think i'm gonna do it i'm all like i mean out of any one of us here they probably would have thought you know like <laughs> you know they probably would like what a g yeah yeah, no, he's like, I don't even fucking smoke anymore. You know, and then I had to point out like the guy's wife who was smoking was like right there. So when everyone is talking about the weed, she's like, I'm trying to tell everyone it's okay. Like it's none of us. We're fine. And they're all kind of freaking because they don't know where it's coming from. But I do, but I don't want to say it. Because I don't want the, I don't want the guy to get in trouble. You know what yeah. I mean? I, like because the dude's a good tipper. He tips out like 50 bucks every time he rides with us. So it's like the new guy was getting was getting him, and I didn't want the new guy to get fucked over. So I'm all like, you know, just laughing my ass off in that shit. Uh, it's, it's just weird things from work, you know, little things like that. Yeah, good thing Jarbo's not a snitch. The fuck no. It was. It was. It, besides, it was shut the fuck up Friday. You're so not. You're not a, a snitch, but you will sell someone else's PS One. <laughs> he got a new model. All right, you know what, man. <laughs> fuck it okay his model could play the game shark okay his old model couldn't play the game shark which is what instigated this whole thing it's really his fault i'm just but the it was not yours to do man it, it's, it's not, not mine to, it was not mine to trade in and sell that's like not. if you if you let me your car and then i come back with a different car you, a newer model but a different car you know you're like what the fuck no, that's fine, man. Is it paid off? I don't have to pay no, payments it on it. Paid off. It that's, be paid no, off. that's fucking stupid. That's not a good that's, analogy, then. Dude, it's not a good you analogy. Pay your car off, you know, Matt. Well, I did pay my car. I, I paid my car look, off like Matt, five Matt, years ago. Matt, Matt, I know, I know, I'm, I'm pretty good with you, and I, and, and I would like to pay your bills, but I, I'm not gonna buy you a new car. I'm not asking you to buy me a new car. If I loaned you my car and then you were like, your car sucks because I can't, I can't listen to my Bluetooth. So I got to go buy a new Bluetooth uh, or go, go buy a new car that has Bluetooth <laughs> that works. And you know, plus you need a new car anyway, you know, that yeah, I know, I know, well, I know. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's, it's one of those things where you just got to fucking, uh, you got to roll with it. Yeah, you'd be, you, but you'd be appreciative. Hey, thank you for the new cars. All paid off. Yeah, here's the papers, Matt. You're a new owner. Now uh, I'm gonna need a ride home back to California in your new car. <laughs> Actually, there was a, there was a guy we picked up the other day who had flown in from Texas to buy a BMW from somewhere in North Seattle, and then he was gonna fly. He was gonna drive back home with it. And he was just looking for a ride to get to a hotel, but he was just in for one night dropping money on a Beamer and then going to drive back to Texas with it. Jesus. And I'm like a Beamer. Ugh. 
That's a fucking ugly car. Yes, yeah, Ralph's pulled out of there, and you and you traded in RE2 and three. I did. I tra- well, no, it wasn't just RE2 and three. That was the other PlayStation that I that I won. That, that was, was the one yours. that I won. Yeah, that was yeah, yours. that was mine, and I traded it in because I don't care. I wanted Dreamcast games. You still broke the bro code, man. I, you know what, man? Listen, I've acknowledged my mistake. It was like goddamn near thirty years ago. <laughs> Fucking drop it, jeez. Hey, you- you still gotta live with it. That's all it is. I have to live with it. I don't need you reminding me of it. All right, I'll drop it. Thank you. Now, uh, I need you to uh, re-review uh, Moon. Give it a good rating. I'm not. No, I'm not gonna fucking re-review Moonfall. No, I'm fucking fine. Not even a director's cut. If they made one. If there was a director's cut of Moonfall. Yeah, okay, I'd, I'd check it out. Okay, cool. All right. That's all I want to know. If there was a, if there's a director's cut of basically, uh, dude, I watched the director's cut of fucking Ghostbusters 2016. You know? Like. <laughs> was it good? No. Thank God. No. No, that, that, that movie is not good. That movie I pirated is... that movie, and I'm like, I couldn't even go through 30 minutes of it. It's pretty bad. Yes, it was. It's pretty terrible. But then we're called sexist and racist and objectively bad people. Yeah. Well, on that note, guys, it is. I do have to go now. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's been I a know. Long I know. Time, I said that. Yeah. I think my kids are awake, and I gotta go. Fucking check. Ah, shit. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm it happens. It I happens. didn't mean to wake them up. <laughs> no, it's just. It's like my daughter lost her tooth the other night, so she's been like, you know, all excited and everything else. Um. Oh, she's not having any, uh, any toothaches or the, the no, tooth, I... like, throbbing pain? Because I, that, that happened to me when I was a kid when I lost a tooth. Like, phantom tooth, you know? No, no. Uh, actually, wait, hold on. I do want to show you guys one thing real quick. I know I, I say that. It better as, not be as, anything yeah. illegal. It's not illegal. No. No. It's not illegal. Yeah, I'll back you up and say it never happened, you know, but you got to give me a heads up. Look at, look at this here. Talking about this is like an AI video from Sora. A macro shot of a leaf showing tiny trains moving through its veins. Look at that. Holy shit, that's freaking cool. That's awesome, man. That's fucking nuts, man. This is Bug Life 2. You mean Rebel Moon? Electric Boogaloo. I said a Bug Life 2. <laughs> oh, you, oh, no, you don't know that. You don't know that fucking that reference there. Um, no. In um, uh, when Dave Foley, uh, who was the voice of... Um, flick in a bug's life mm-hmm. when he saw like the rebel moon he commented on rebel moon and he says oh like didn't we already do that in a bug's life <laughs> totally fucking chat on him it was pretty funny oh wow. yeah i mean didn't they do the same thing with seven samurai and it's magnificent seven <laughs> yeah they did yeah. same thing yeah sora is the um is uh the new open ai um uh text to video uh thing what a trouble so, man no, i agree with you spherical man i want to see that too i want to see that brain didn't animate that <laughs> i'm sure by now he's gone to bed it's been nearly four hours he's yeah, probably he, he, gone to bed he's gone most likely gone to bed um you know yeah i don't know if i'll be i mean like i keep saying i don't know if i'll stream night but like i probably will i do want to watch a movie if i can like do a fucking patio and and then have uh, you seen aquaman yet too uh no it comes no. out on max next week so well i don't have max now do i uh we'll try to get you on trial. minimum what it's, she's not she's on minimum <laughs> yeah well, it's it's max minimum, and minimum, maximum the one i the one i'm waiting for is like um i want to see argyle but i just i just don't think i'm gonna go to the theater anymore like not anymore but it's like it's just getting harder and harder to go but isn't so, that on apple tv not yet it's only it's only been out for a couple weeks um it's only done like i think like 36 million dollars or some shit domestic or some crap it's um yeah i don't know i don't know if they're gonna make any more of those movies or not i I mean i hope they do but like i don't know if they will well spherical man watch me i was gonna watch madam web uh, because there's there's a copy of that floating around that's like looks pretty decent but the problem is the audio quality is shit 
So like, uh, you know, I, 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 I refuse to watch with bad audio. I just refuse. You can show me the shittiest fucking grainiest handheld cam footage out there. And as long as the audio is decent, I'll fucking sit through it. Kind of like how people used to watch porn back in the day. Like, you just yeah, the, the, the audio was good. But if you might, yeah, you could hear the audio. You could hear the moaning and like the ball slapping. And you're like, all right, okay. But then it's like, you know, but you might see a tit, but you don't know if that's a tit or a zit on the dude's ass. You have no all idea. You gotta, all you got to do is just squint a little. Just squint a little. So, yeah, you, you can pause it at the right time, I guess. Uh, uh, I recommend well, watching Thanksgiving. If you haven't seen that, if you have Netflix. Uh, oh, I do have Netflix. I didn't know it's on Netflix already. I have Netflix, yeah. Because it's, uh, I, I, I thought it was a pretty fun thing, uh, horror movie. Pretty short, though. So. You want to go through that? Yeah, well, I mean, you, you've seen the original trailer, right? No. Uh, no, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably yeah, did. I think, I, think I showed it once on, like, a trailer park or something like that. Pretty good. Eli Roth, I mean, if, uh, if you were watching it when it was still scrambled. I mean, look, man, in the 90s, you did what you had to do, all right? You know, it was either a Sears catalog, a Victoria's Secret catalog, a Fredericks of Hollywood catalog, or, yeah, or, Fredericks, or Channel 99. <laughs> Channel... <laughs> Channel 99. Not another oh. teen movie. Uh. And well, the opening of American Pie is, I think, was, I think a lot of 90, because remember, that movie came out in the summer of 99. I was 17 when that came out. And when I saw it on opening day, I was just like, I was laughing because like that is such a fucking joke that like so many people got, you know, I, you, you showed that to anyone now who's younger, who's born after 05. And they're going to be like, what the fuck is that? I remember my dad dick uh, trying to take me to go watch. Oh, I'm sorry, Fire. you say I remember my dad's dick? <laughs> my dad yeah, that, that sounds like that to me too. Huh? <laughs> He's like, no, guys, it was really a fucking Snickers bar. Just really vain. <laughs> Snickers bar. Uh, he, he, my dad just likes American comedy. And he thought it would be uh, going to be uh, something appropriate with, with ki for kids. And uh, he took me. And uh, that. Uh, Wait, you uh, you remember your dad's dick because he took you? No. <laughs> wow, we're getting some real confessions. No, this is not taxi cab confessions. These are my confessions, <laughs> which I do remember after watching it by accident. Oh, you know what's funny is I was watching the uh, the Usher Super Bowl um, performance the other day, which I thought was like just okay. But like when he did, uh, when he did, these are my confessions. I was like, I'm like, man, the Weird Al song's better. No. Yeah, the Weird Al song is fucking lit, dude. It is amazing. Weird Al's music is fucking amazing. Yeah, I mean the fact that it's like, it's just like it's you know, I still listen to shit from the '80s with him. That's like older, you know, about as old as I am. And you're like, this is some great stuff. And I still, still can't believe you watched the Super Bowl after show. So. No, my girlfriend asked me to watch it. She asked me. She well, liked yeah, it. She wanted me to watch it. it. Yeah, because she asked me to watch it with her. Lo and behold, I want to spend time with my significant other. Now you're and just bragging, Matt. And then, and then we watched the Dr. Dre one from a couple years ago, which is fucking phenomenal. So. I don't listen to raps. I'm sorry. Or hip hop. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, high in here says, hey, some people were whacking it to tribal nudity for a time. Oh, yeah. you're talking about Nat Geo. He's talking about Nat Geo. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Like when you go to school and everyone's like, hey, if you go get the latest issue of National Geographic, turn to page 48, there's a tit. That was and then you turn and you're, and you're just like, well, oh, my God, there's so many boobs. Oh, like, oh, holy look at shit, tribal nudity. Tribal nudity. It's like they're not even <laughs> wearing pants. <laughs> But like, it, you know, it's just like, there's just, it's just a booby, and, but it's, just, it, but it's, it's not even like sexual. So it's so hard to whack it to Nat Geo. Oh yeah. Well, when I said, oh yeah, but it's a teenager. You just need, you just need a nipple. I mean, you don't even really need a nipple. You, you just need like, you need something that has like some sex appeal to it. There's no sex appeal about, about like the women of the Serengeti, nothing against them, period. <laughs> well, that was before my time. Uh, I think I was just sex ed about, uh, I don't remember, but it was just ejaculation and women <laughs> breastfeeding. Yeah, that was, the, that was a lot. 
tribal, was, nu- tribal, tribal nudity. nudity. I took me a second to catch what that was. I was like, what the fuck is tribal nudity? <laughs> oh, oh, you talking about fucking about the net geo titties. Yeah. Matt, have you ever, have you, have you ever personally known anyone who's jerked off to tribal nudity? Uh, not that they've admitted. RJ. You know what I know. I, Art. No, I think RJ. No, it, that's too, that's not artisanal enough for RJ. He needs artisanal porn. What yeah. he, he needs hentai with uh, uh, I uh, well age appropriate I, characters. I maybe he's jerked off to Haley Steinfeld. Appro- maybe he's jerked off to Haley Steinfeld. Age appropriate Haley Steinfeld. Age appropriate Haley Steinfeld. Yeah. You know he's all like, man, that true grit. She like, shut the fuck up, RJ. <laughs> <laughs> she was ten. Uh, like, no, she, she's not a ten. She's the nineteen. She's twenty. She age appropriate now. She age appropriate. Age appropriate hentai. That should be a fucking website. Yeah. Yeah. Like age hentai appro- really kind of messed up my generation. Can you imagine that website though? It's like welcome to ageappropriatehentai.com. Please enter the age you're looking for, no lower than 18. <laughs> we'll give you a selection of the finest hentai images that won't send you to jail. Or if so if you open them on your computer, they won't suspect that you're jerking it to children. <laughs> no bestiality here either. Yeah, I just want to be the horse cog. Jesus Christ. Who would say something so absurd? I'm just here for the story. The sex is just secondary. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. You just imagine people that are just like, no, I, I really just I really just read it for the articles. Yeah. I read the articles after Wait, after... Tommy, Tommy says here jerked off to McKenna Gray. Okay, dude. I Who's that? She's 17 right now. Oh shit. Okay. Like, no. No, no, no. What happened? Uh, he he says here uh, jerked off to McKenna Grace, oh. and McKenna Grace is almost eighteen, but she is not eighteen. What the fuck? So yeah, almost eighteen and still almost go to jail. Self report on That's that one a little bit. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yikes. no. Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. That's bad. not cool. Yeah, don't just yeah. It's like McKenna Gray. Yeah, then no, no, no. Um, because I was I was looking up uh, the cast of the of Ghostbusters after uh, Frozen Empire, and I was like, uh, you know, clicked on McKenna Grace. And I was like, you know, saw that she's not eighteen yet. Like, so yeah, no bad idea. Yeah, bad idea. This is I mean, dude. There's like honest to god, no, no. Like it's it's just like I prefer like again like fucking like you know milf shit because it's like you at least then you fucking know. You have you that know, security. Yeah. Like that you I have that you. you have that. You're just like, you know, like, okay. Like stern mommy figures. Got it. Like <laughs> <laughs> at least you at least you'll be like stern wide ne- a wide net of uh, acceptable age groups for that. It's <laughs> you don't wanna you don't wanna be Tommy. Yeah, it's it's I mean it's all a, this it's... just because we decided to talk about tribal nudity for a bit. Jesus mm. fucking Christ. Yeah. And how do you know any of those tri- those women in the tribal in the tribal nudity are actually age appropriate? Yeah, wait a pre- I don't think they'd be allowed to publish it if that was Yeah. I mean, they wait. don't they don't they don't do that no more, so Well, no, well. Disney Disney killed Nat Geo, but it's like, you know, I mean, once you've seen one tribal titty, you've kind of seen them all, I guess. Like I don't know what the you know a tit is a tit, okay? A tit, a tit, yeah, tit for tat, right? Tit for tat. Um, kind of like, kind of like RJ. It's like he he, he just he just whack, whacking it out to uh, Saggy's picks, and that's it. What? RJ is wanking it to oh, Saggy's oh, only to Saggy. fans. Saggy's melons, eh? or her fansly, or whatever it's called. That which, I would argue, yeah, it's probably which I would say they're average. Okay, no matter oh. how, how no matter how much Saggy says. I thought you're not even interested in women, and, and you're like you're. Like I said fucking... I am not that interested in women. Why are you judging oh, Melons' tits? But but you're but you're judging Saggy's. Yeah, I am judging Saggy. Okay. The way she judges other people, I can't I can't judge other people. Then. Oh, I, wait, why? Are you well, because it well because you're, you're judging RJ for jerking off to Saggy's. I'm not tits, judging and then, RJ. And then you're jerk, saying, now I'm you're just... now you're judging Saggy's tits, which tells me that you have jerked off to Saggy's tits. No, and that is and if you fine, have, why have I guess it's fine. Like, it's, Matt, it's fine, but I am not doing that because I they're just basic. No matter how much she she uh, she advertises they're not, they, just, they are basic. They just basic. How 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 did tits be like not basic? 
I mean, she 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 brags about the size. And... Does she have to have like cone tits or like something <laughs> unique? Fucking. They're just crazy. basic. They're just normal. Oh, they're I don't, basic. I don't. I don't see. Well, no like, shit. Oh. They're fucking boobs. Like. What are you expecting? Like, are you expecting them to do a fucking dance for you? Yeah, man, they're bags of sand. What do you expect? <laughs> they're bags of sand. Jesus. She's I bags of sand with, with, a, with a fucking pancake nipple. It's just like... <laughs> she got them flat-jacked. <laughs> they're just oh my God. average. Stop. They're, not, they're not above average. They're just average, okay? Will you, stop talking about, will you stop talking about Saggy's tits? Jesus Christ, this is episode Jesus, one what, of the what, show. Are, yeah, do I detect a hint of jealousy, Adam? No, I'm not jealous of fucking no, what, Saggy's yeah. tits. Yeah. yeah. I'm not so, jealous uh, of Saggy's tits. Okay, that's cool. I believe you. Okay. They're, they're average, okay? They're not <laughs> below average. They're not above average. They're uh, just yeah, average, you, okay? No, you know what? No, I, I disagree. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, 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 I'll put it to you guys like this. I don't care about Saggy's boobs. Like I mean, like you That's know fine. what? Uh, I hope who I'm hope I hope whoever likes them likes them, and there's that. Uh, Look, I'll say this. Fine. I'll say this myself. Oh god, they're they're a nice pair of tits. You just said but they were average. Just- and now it's you're saying, average. They're nice. yeah, now you're I'm walking saying, it back. Not, you're so walking it walking, back. I'm not walking you're back. You're so afraid I'm, she's gonna hear this and come after yeah, you. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. I'm saying they oh, are. Oh, self I got to compliment her melons. I gotta Matt, Matt, I am saying they are average. They are fine. They're pretty good, but not fucking what she's trying to sell me with. They're not, you know. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh my god, I feel I feel like we've hit a dead end. Voluptuous. Yeah, he's really, really trying to like you know. I don't want her to kill me. Okay. Then stop talking about her tits. Yes. Yeah, we've been having like a five minute conversation about saying his boobs. Okay. Okay. What I don't want to continue to about? talk about them unless I'm staring at them. So, come on, let's wrap this conversation. Well, up. Have you? <laughs> have I? Have you ever no. met Saggy in person? No, I've not, but I, I'd so like to. So weird. Eventually. You guys live in the same city. I know. I, it's, I, I, I'd like to sometime soon. It's just the, the winter has been pretty fucking shitty on my, uh, on my financials. Well, so. in the winter, shit, they'll, they'll be uh, pretty perky and pointy. What? what? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is the silliest fucking shit ever. Mm. I, know. Hey, Matt, I, didn't, I didn't even I didn't even get to the whole thing about Tiffany Haddish going to Israel to see it with her own eyes. Tiffany Haddish oh, is literally, literally today, flew to Israel. Matt, uh, told me that in your question. Uh, what's the question? I don't, tell me, I'm just, I kind of feel like maybe not right now. This is, I don't know who the most famous Victoria's Secret model is right now, but let's just like, maybe not. I don't yeah. even, I don't even think they're, they make uh, that stores around anymore. Victoria's Secret? Yeah. Yeah, it's around. You need to get out of your house more. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> I live, oh, I live in a town with 40,000 people. We have a mall. The mall is dead. Victoria's Secret is still there. The, the mall. The, you can't the, kill the it. The mall next to the mall in my it, area used to have Victoria's it Secret, funds, but it's not there anymore. It is completely funded by strippers buying the perfume throughout the country because every fucking strip, every strip club you go to, they all have the same fucking like Victoria's Secret perfume. I'm just saying they're average, okay? That's all. Oh I'm my saying. god, it all comes back. <laughs> okay, to it. okay. You know that's what? That's, that's final words. You know. You what? know what? I think it's time. I think it's time. It's in three hours, fifty-eight and a half minutes. All we're doing now is talking about Saggy's tits. It's yeah. Time to move on. Yeah. I want to talk about Lisa Ann's. What are you talking about? Julianne is better. <laughs>